Desperately trying to finish off the conversation before we cut We back have a countdown and I he know. started speaking yeah. faster and faster. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to High Rollers Erois. Last time, our adventurers mourned the passing of Nova Vija, who gave her life in sacrifice for the city of Vortensar, along with Harmony and Shansara, in a desperate attempt to save the city from the magical elemental power that perhaps all three of them had been responsible for. In these sad, tragic moments, our party retreated to the Storm Tracer, left Vortensar, and began to think of ways that they might be able to bring Nova back. In a meeting, they discussed ideas, and Lucius remembered a story about an, a rare and powerful diamond that could fuel a spell Quill would be able to cast to bring Nova back. As he mentioned the name of this diamond, the Star of Siaska, a knock came at his quarter's door, only to be revealed is Howard. Howard, their ship's cook, who revealed that they had a personal connection to the Star of Siaska, and perhaps may even know of its final location and be the key to unlocking the vault from which it was hidden within. Taking Howard with them, the party traveled to mountains north of Goldthrone on the continent of Suvona, where they encountered the first of many challenges to locate the vault uh, by seeking out a carved stone face of Valena in the mountains and entering through a secret tunnel and chamber to access the vault's inner workings. Passing by various puzzles, they eventually made their way into the more secure chambers, and that is where we begin today. Everyone was making a face. Sorry, I can hear Mark. It's Again. Is he in the speaker up there? I'm trying to subtly change it, but yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Trot, Trot is running the stream today, so don't worry. That's well, fine. do worry, but don't Should worry. We hold don't, for a don't worry, but don't worry, but don't worry. Yeah. But do worry. Um, <coughs> I believe that when we at last left things off, you guys had all managed to solve a puzzle uh, that was used to access the front of the, the sort of main vault itself in these deep stone underground chambers. Very well uh, created and very intricate, um, well protected vault. Uh, you solved a puzzle involving a number of statues and an old rhyme that Howard could remember. Um, and uh, with the last steps of that puzzle, the door was opened and you were left to look inside. Um, and that, I think, is where we left off. Is there anything anything before we crack in, begin? Sorry, it's really throwing me off. I can't even subtly refer to it. Oh, I, I can I just hear it again, you like... You hear me <laughs> in both ears. Just like whisper, yeah, time. whisper. Hi, Thomas. I'm no, stop. I hate this. I hate this. <laughs> we good? Do you want to... Is it, is it How are you done? feeling, Trot? Is it better? Hello, testing. Testing Thomas, can you hear me? That's better. I, can't, I think that's good. That's better. I can't hear it. <laughs> Great. Yeah! Yeah! It's all fine. It's all fine and dandy. Yeah. Professional D&D stream. Mm -hmm. Charlie mm -hmm. saw it. wants to kill someone. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, yeah. He's, I, he's desperately trying to do the, the job to be of nice and four subtle. men. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> there's Carry subtle, on. and then there's what everyone can hear. <laughs> Chris, Trump. How long have we been working with Tom Hazel? <laughs> the least subtle man I know. Yeah. The VOD is fine, Tom. The stream can be fixed subtly. Carry on. I will. <laughs> <laughs> deep breaths, Troll, deep breaths. <laughs> Go to your um, happy place. 
Howard, as you see the the sort of doors opening, another rhyme does come to mind, which I'll reveal in a minute. Uh, oh yeah! <laughs> as you sort of are like, oh, you're remembering parts of the you story. Sure, you don't want you me go. to read it out. Um, I mean, I could, I forgot <laughs> to send it to you. So okay. I yeah. think it might be easier if I yeah, just it might do be, it. Yeah. <laughs> and again, for readability of people that maybe can't understand <laughs> Kim's Howard accent. <laughs> well, I can understand <laughs> your Howard <laughs> right. accent. What are you saying? Uh, what are you saying? Mm, quite a lot, I think. <laughs> what are you saying? It's not so much that I can't understand what you're saying. It's just that. I'm more focused on how you're saying it as you say it. Mm. Yeah. If that makes sense. That's really weird. No, I just can't understand it. Well, oh, okay. yeah. before we get to Howard's <laughs> rhyme, uh, what the, the adventuring party, what you see, is the door of the vault opens up to reveal a long chamber with four side chambers attached to it. The whole area is made of beautiful stone walls inlaid with silver and sapphires to make them look like the night sky. The side chambers are divided from the main corridor by walls of narrow electrum bars and hinged gates once led into each one but have been sealed shut by magic long ago. Inside the caged off side chambers are neat rows of wooden chests, piles of silver and gold coins, display shelves lined with gemstones and masterwork weaponry. There are also four large stone plinths in each that, all, that hold out in their hand, uh, sorry, not in their hands, but have like a large diamond on display in each one. Um, at the far end of the chamber is another stone door engraved with a mural depicting a dwarf woman and a halfling man holding a large diamond between them. Sort of both it, the diamond in the middle and then them on each door. Mmm. I mean, I, I know the people before us succumb to greed. Electrum bars, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, like, basically, like, 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 like prison bars. Like, kind of, like, <laughs> yeah, I know, but still made of electrum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They are made of electrum. That's but I mean, there's also, there are piles of gold and silver and there are chests diamante? filled filled with it. There are the stone plinths with four diamonds. There are very slight display cases with other gemstones, mm. masterwork weaponry, like gorgeous, <laughs> beautiful, you know, dwarven made weapons and everything else. Um, and this is as you're looking in before you kind of have the full precipice. Hmm. Uh, I mean, there are also uh, two large stone braziers at the far end. Okay. Not lanterns. Not, not, not braziers. Not braziers. Not braziers. Not braziers. Not braziers. Not braziers. Not okay. Braziers. braziers. Oh. Yeah. 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 Like Frasier. Brazier. Yeah. Bra <laughs> Brazier. <laughs> Razor Crane. Razor Crane. And his brother Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not Brazier's, no. Kay. Hi, also, is this a costume party? <laughs> 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 um, that was my impression of Brazier Crane. No, yeah, yeah. I like it. I like oh, it. Oh, the fire bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. I nice. get it. Yeah. Nice. You're explaining it really better. <clears throat> I love explaining jokes. It's my favorite. Um, and yeah, you can see that uh, around the door there is this sense of finery. There are these uh, large flag poles with these draping, you know, hanging tapestries with the horn silver family colors and crest um, drooping down. I guess technically that's my inheritance, that is. Uh, all of this? Yeah, I suppose. Uh, there's a lot. There's there's a lot here. I mean, I'd, why do I feel like we shouldn't touch any of it? Yeah, the uh, the old family uh, the old family stories do mention the word curse quite a lot. Mm. 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 I mean, the thing we're looking for, the Star of Siaska, cursed. cursed. This entire place, cursed. Right. Okay. Us. Cursed. Where are the curse? Right. Definitely. Everything's cursed. cursed by him. That's cursed. Yeah. This is cursed. It's all cursed. Okay. Uh, if we're cursed anyway. What suppose? What's a double curse? <laughs> a non curse? Like cancel each other out? Can, you, can you counter a curse with a curse? Yeah. But then what if you get cursed again? Hmm. Triple curse? Depend, does it depend on the curse? Can you stack curses? What if they're different curses? Yeah. Well, if they have the same effect, it probably counters. Yeah. You can't have that twice. No, that doesn't make any know, sense. Yeah, exactly. It's weird, isn't it? I'm I'm well versed in magic. <laughs> <laughs> I love how if nobody else was saying anything, Tom will just fill yep. silence with nothing. With yeah. just silence. It's not nothing. This is diamonds. flavor. <laughs> Sorry. There are there are four diamonds in each of the, these kind runner. of like cell like all, all like vaults. You know how like you see in a movie and you see the bank vault and it's got the big bars mm. kind of splitting off sections of the vault. <clears throat> kind of like that. Each one has its own. 
each one diamond. of these smaller rooms has a like a stone plinth with like a diamond. But in, other a, than that, thing. they're not identical. Like the rooms aren't they're, identical. No, no, they look. I mean, the rooms, like the the structure of them all, is identical. Bars, rooms are the same size. The contents, contents of them is like they're not yes. mirrors of each other. No, they're not mirrors. Like they're mirrors in like the architecture, but the contents aren't mirrors, except for these plinths right. and these diamonds. Those are the only things which are mirrored in e in all four of them. Um, you can even see that also, like this main corridor that you're kind of stood in, which is beautiful stone. The walls are like you know made it like inlaid with silver and like blue sapphires to make it look like stuff. There are actually kind of like shelves, um, like high up. You can almost see like little alcoves, and they're full of like treasure. And you can see like piles of gold, and mm. you know, you know, masterwork weaponry, and suits of armor, and it's just been like piled up in here. Like this is the truest sense of the word, a treasure vault. This cool. is Scrooge McDuck, like, you know, not quite a pile of gold to dive in, but like, it is- A pile know, of master smog, weapons. <laughs> smog in like, uh, mm. in, in under the mountain, you know, kind of like, you know, big piles of gold and, and everything else. So we've found the mountain, we've gone through the eye. Yep, yeah. We've surpassed the traps on the way through the eye canal uh, to yeah. the main chamber. We pass through... Lover's Grove. Lover's Grove. Is there anything else in the riddle about this? Oh, let me have a think. Let me have a think. What did my old Mar say? And then Howard says. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you like it in the Howard voice, or would you like yeah, it in yeah, my yeah. normal oh, voice? You're going to show me right up. I'm going to show you right up, son. Okay. Come on, then. Uh, Come on, then. Beyond the door is a hall of glitter, glittering gold, the walls inlaid with silver and stars, the work of masters, young and old. Piles of coin, gem, and steel scattered throughout this wealthy field. But twas here a sin of grievous ill destroyed it all, as emerald eyes and onyx hearts turned on kin and brought horn silver's fall. The dead still watch with greedy malice, their fury brought with careless avarice. Beyond this hall lies just one more, where the family's treasure wait rests for all. When the mark of an heir feels each star, the legacy awaits a final scar. Thank you, Howard. Okay. Ooh, it's the longest I've ever spoken in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Even then, I was just like, I've not done the Howard voice in a mm. while. I need to kind yeah. of get my mouth around it all, all the vowels, yeah. you know, some of the words. Avarice. Avarice. Av it's hard saying. Master's it fall. Avarath. Uh, so, can you uh, copy and paste yes. that in the Discord? Discord. <laughs> so, depending on how literally we take this, uh, is this room haunted? or rigged with some sort of trap. I, I will that... keep in mind that whilst your minis may be on the map, you guys are still outside, yeah, yeah, you've yeah. not entered the room oh. yet. Like if the dead is still watching mm. greedily this room. Do you want to quickly perceive if there's any like slightly raised slabs in the floor, like a pressure plate or like a, a thin line that's mm -hmm. across the hallway or something like that. I mean, I, I was... Hole marks for arrows. You guys have got a light spell active, so you've got about 20 foot of bright light and 20 foot of dim light. So you can see yeah. about 40 foot into the room. So really, you're kind of basing the room on, you know, I can't show the darkness here, but those first two chambers on either side, that's really where okay, your vision is kind of limited it gets to. Quite... Ayla and, and uh, Lucius. Anyone with dark vision can see a little bit further in than that, but not much. You can probably see like these alcoves like high up on the walls and there's a platform. It's like a kind of like a dwarves and halflings pro could probably get up there and you can see that there's been shelves built into the walls and stuff. Um, but the rest of the room, the far back, things like the far door, you guys probably haven't technically seen yet. Yeah. Right. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll take Lucius's not so subtle hint at using a perception check to look for mechanical traps or sure. physical yeah. changes, but then after that I'm happy to ritual cast uh, Detect Magic, which will take 10 minutes. Nice. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, you can make a perception check. Sweet. Bop, 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 bop. That is uh, 33. 33. You don't see any raised pressure plates, you don't see trip wires, uh, you don't see any magical runes. From your current <coughs> position, looking outside into the room, Nothing you can really tell. The main detail I'd say is like, yeah, you can see that these electron bars over these kind of like vault chambers, um, you can see that they have been sort of like magically welded. Like the gates that would have once like, you know, probably been like things that you could lock and unlock. They've also been like magically welded shut as if somebody was like, really didn't want people getting in and out of those, those rooms. Um, okay. 
there's no locked door access. At all. There once was, but it's like, just been... but it looks like like Quill can see like the areas where like the Electrum has been f fused together, like melted with magical fire and stuff like that. I assume this was part of the fallout, and thus they wanted it completely sealed after the the Horn Silver battle. So none of the gates, sorry, there's a gate here that has a those hole in it. Just, that I, just those it? are the limits of my miniatures, right, so okay. unfortunately. <clears throat> there are no like open doors or gates or holes in the bars. And they they're all so solid. thin that no one can... Mm, people could try and squeeze through them. I think out of everybody, Sentry would probably just be physically unable to do it. Ayla could probably still squeeze through it because she's organic. She's more squishy than Sentry, but Sentry doesn't really have any squish to like force. No. So it would <laughs> Sentry would have to break um, away her um, throat. Um, I'd say um, Howard could probably do it, yeah, by squeezing through. Little. Quill can probably do it by squeezing through. <coughs> Lucius Follow and Ayla would probably have to make a check to like actually get through and not get stuck. Mm. But I'd say Quill and Quill and Howard can do it without making a check. It will just count as difficult terrain. Mm. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, I'm happy to start. Uh, Doing uh, detect magic. Cool. Just in so case there is. Can I um, divine sense? Yeah. Um, give that a little go. Yeah. So I can try and detect any celestial spheres or undead within sixty feet. Within that sixty not, feet. That is not behind total cover. Okay, so, so you ha would have to physically see them, basically. Yeah. Okay. So as Quill is doing that, and that's an action to use, right? Yeah, divine is, yeah. sense. Yeah. So sentry for you. The way I would imagine this is almost like your eyes become the golden glow of the matrix, right? Like this is your senses becoming attuned to another world, almost, and like. And the way I think that it works, because this isn't divine magic, like we've always said that like Sentry's power as a paladin comes from the Matrix itself, which yes. is this very powerful, magical, spiritual in a sense, but only to other guardians kind of vibe. I think what you begin to see is you see uh, sort of moving back and forth, sort of in the sort of area just in front of you, um, sort of moving almost as if they're like walking up and inspecting the door at the bars you begin to see these faint outlines of life. You kind of almost see the the blood represented as like you know, these amber sort of rivers like flowing through their bodies. You see their kind of very faint features, but it's you, you can probably tell that there's dwarves and halflings amongst them, but nothing more than that. Um, and they're looking around warily and they're kind of like going up and like testing the bars and they like maybe glance back around and they almost as if they were in the middle of a, a routine or like part of their life or the event that led to their death or something like that. But yeah, there are, there is a lot, there's a big undead presence in this room. Guys, guys, the room is full of undead. Really? Dwarves, halfling, halflings, I can see them. Yeah. And I'd say that like you can sense them, but you don't think that they're there yet. Okay. Like the room has like a connection to these spirits, enough that you know that there are undead in there. But like if you were to say cast a fireball into the room, it wouldn't actually hit any creatures. Uh -huh. You just know that there are spirits attached to this place. Okay. Um, whether or not they, you know, physically, they, they, again, it's like that, the ethereal plane and the astral plane, they might be able to manifest in that space, yeah. but right now they are not present there. You can just sense that they are connected to it. Okay. What are they doing? It looks like they're patrolling. They're going up and down, checking the bars. Guarding? Probably, yes. Right. I don't think we should be touching anything in these rooms. The riddle did say that there were eyes Eventualized watching or something like that. The dead still watch with greedy malice. They very much are. It's like they want to get in, but they can't. And if we were to get in instead of them, maybe that would be bad. Could be, could be. Can we see the braziers? No, I'd say that that's actually, 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 yeah. If the bra the, the braziers, braziers aren't lit yet, the, the bra braziers, <laughs> the braziers aren't lit yet. Uh, I know the minis on the table on the map they are. But you guys, yeah, you can't really see beyond that midpoint of the room currently with your dark vision and the light sources you have. If you wanted to like put a light source, like throw a light source down there, you might be able to. I'd ask Sentry if I would be disturbing the spirits if I were to send dancing lights. I think Sentry, you could make a religion check for me. Just bopping their heads and stuff, some dancing. Yeah, it'd be more to see like if like based on what you could sense. Twenty two. Twenty two. Based on the fact that you can sense a presence, but you don't think the creatures themselves, like there's no undead creatures, you're just sensing an undead presence. You think that like if you were to like throw an object in there or like a light, you don't think it would disturb them. I think you'd be okay to do that. 
All right. I don't think they're physically in the room. I think they're somewhere in the ethereal plane. I gotcha. I'm going to create four little torch sides uh, lights in like a quad, yeah. and I'm just going to get them to slowly move down the hallway, sure. casting this shadow. I can go up to 120 feet away. Nice. So well, they'll kind of I'll, get to. I'll slowly drift. They'll them. get to like this point, and that is with your dark vision that illuminates the whole room at this point. All right. So like you can all see far back, and like the shadows kind of blend in with your own light source, and now you can see pretty much the whole room. I'm doing like a hue RGB shift, just because I can. Yeah, I can go through the full spectrum. But yeah, you see this just amorphous kind of like blob of lights just slowly drift down there, casting these long shadows into these like barred sort of cells of this vault. And yeah, you see glittering treasure, like the piles of treasure. I mean, looking down this place, um, anybody who's available, the only person who can't do this is Quill because he's concentrating. Mm -hmm. Anybody else, if you just want to make a, just a straight roll of d20 plus intelligence, um, <laughs> Mm. You can still make the check if you like, Ayla. <laughs> Since nah, he's got a worse int than you. But if you don't, yeah, if you're not I interested. Don't think she'd yeah, care. that's fine. Straight 16. Got that's a 20. Natural 20? Uh, unnatural 20. Unnatural 20. 20, 16, 11. 11. Um, I mean, essentially, you can look at it and be like, man, there's there's a lot of stuff in here. Like, there's, I mean, there's <laughs> tens of thousands of gold, probably. Lucius, you kind of get an idea of, like, looking around, like, yeah, some of the art was, like, some of the suits of armor, like, well, there's a particular suit of armor, like a suit of scale armor, up on one of these alcoves as the light drifts past. And you're like, I'm pretty sure that's adamantine. Like, that's made of adamantine. Like, it's this beautiful, Green. crafted, dwarven <laughs> suit of scale mail. Um, and you're, like, looking at the gold coins and the gems, and you see, like, there's a couple of rubies that you bypass that you kind of catch a glimpse of, and they're big enough that you're like, that's probably worth a thousand gold on its own. Um, this alone is probably worth at least ten gold, <laughs> I'd say. And then, Howard, for you... You've been around, you've done, you've worked in clerks' offices and businesses, and you've spent time with Arvel, like, you estimate that there's, I mean, just in gold alone, not counting, like, you see the adamantine and you see the rubies and stuff, but, like, just gold, everything you're seeing by the light and from the dark vision, at least 40,000 gold in this, in this chamber, kind of divided in different piles and different chests and things like that, but there is significant wealth in here. Let go, in here. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> sure. It's quite a lot of gold in here, isn't it? These braziers at the end, they look similar to the trapped ones, or at least the ones that signaled when it wasn't someone of birthright in they the do. eyes. Yeah, they do. Very similar to the ones in the first stone tunnel <clears throat> chamber. I wonder if they either open the door at the end that I can just see or if we enter this room and we are not a horn silver, it might trigger some sort of bad trap. It's my worry. Oh, interesting. I'd say by this point, Quill, because cool. tech magic, you, your eyes kind of shimmer. You get that sense of that 30 foot aura around you of like, yep, you can feel each other's, you can feel the magic items of the party, you can feel any spells currently in effect. Mm -hmm. um, Anything within? The immediate 30, 30 feet. If you move up to the very door, like don't step in, but you're like at the precipice. Yeah. Um, no, you don't sense any magic. Okay. Uh, well, uh, other than the, uh, the the dead, I'd say the only magic you would still sense on the door itself, because it was unlocked by magic. There is there is that sense of abjuration and divination magic on the door around you, because right. that had to be opened by magic, and that that enchantment still remains. You can still sense that there is this. I don't imagine I can see enchantment. tethers of like where this thing was connected to. Um, the door. Yeah, like the door connected to the thing that we used I'd to open it. Yeah, I kind of, kind of, it's very video gamey, the kind of Batman <laughs> Arkham Asylum, I'm like the electrical mode right wire <laughs> travels down here. I need to go and solve this puzzle. Um, but I do think that there would be like ley lines of magic. And yeah, I think that you would be able to see like, actually there's a line of magic that connects to the disc that you were selling. It was a recently you activated discs. path yeah. as well. So. Yeah, exactly. I think that you can see that there is a magical connection between them. Maybe it would appear more as like you can almost see like, 
and the the door is like rolled into the wall so you're kind of seeing it x-ray style yeah you can see like a kind of glowing sigil inside the wall where the door should be and that sigil matches a sigil etched into the dioceses that you were stepping on and previously and the keys and you're kind of seeing that there is this matching style of magic okay um, probably created by the same person that, that did yeah. the enchantments so i was uh, i wanted to make sure the door won't close behind us if it's connected to something else, but I guess if it's not a recently activated thing, uh, there's also not any sigils on the floor in front of us. There, You can't see any sigils in this room, no. Yeah. So uh, to your best understanding, the door won't close behind you. Okay. To your best understanding. Um, yeah, essentially, um, I, I mean, other than the dead, I think we are safe to proceed. Uh, it's just a question of how, how do we navigate them without disturbing them without interrupting them in some way. Does um, divine sense last or is it like a pulse, like a kind of like one-off, you sense them and then it goes? Or is it like the magic where it's like concentration? Think it I think it's like a pulse, right? Yeah. 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 So yeah, so you can't see them, you can't sense them anymore. You sense right. their presence and then it went. Yeah. Yeah, it's just an action here, so there's no time on it or anything. Mm. Um, I could grant someone the ability to see them. Uh, but we'd have to be relying on them to gauge their attitude towards us, I suppose. So I, we could do that. Um, they did look very focused on the treasure. I think as long as we don't touch that treasure, just pause off. We probably do have to touch the treasure though, Miss Ayla. Last line of the riddle, in it. When the mark of an heir fills each star, the legacy awaits a final scar. Well, what's the star? Because there's stars everywhere on the walls as well. Well, the stars of Siaska is the diamond, right? The also, old, the old diamonds. That riddle says yeah, that's beyond this hall, doesn't it? Do, are, that's assuming that they're stars. Are, are those diamonds the stars? Or is it the stars? Because they're stars on the wall. They are. They're light. stars on the wall, they're, but they're like sapphires made to look like stars. So they have like right. actual, like, you know, cut gemstones, not in the shape of a star, but like small round sapphires have been embedded in the walls so that as the light hits them, it looks like a night sky. Okay. So yeah, they they are, they are stars effectively, um, and then the diamonds. If that is indeed meant to be, if these are the stars of Siaska, or maybe a replica of it, maybe they could also be the stars. I mean, it's not sure, not, well, not clear yet. We can, we can look at the door down there. Yeah, you can also now see the door, and the door also has like um, kind of got that three D bass relief, and it is the halfling and the dwarf cradling like a diamond between them which is in the very middle of the door itself and that is matches the same ones on the plinth that l they all look identical but it's this large very ornate diamond oh, it's a real one not a no 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 it's in it's engraving. like a stone graving yeah. right yeah. but it, it's the same it looks identical to the ones right. on the plinth same shape mm -hmm. yeah the star of siaska that we saw in the book yes this is not like these obviously uh um, no yeah it looks exactly like these oh okay great yep Perfect, we're in the right place. Um, <laughs> imagine if we weren't. <laughs> sorry, this your star of Siaska's in another castle. It's a different mountain. Oh, sorry, uh, tell you what though, uh, Lancian might know another riddle of another uh, treasure. Yeah. <laughs> another uh, vault. Uh, I do believe Penny as well, she had something as well about a family vote. Okay. It's weird, they were and actually look out. all orphans together and they forgot Yeah, we forgot. Other. Oh and my god. Go, like, no, what a great storyline. Yeah. <laughs> Still not over it. Still <laughs> not fucking. It. I'm it. never getting over it. Anyway, uh, I mean, let's. I we can press forward carefully. Um, we know about those lanterns at the end there, so let's not get too close. Um, if they're trapped again, I mean, I can find out. I suppose when we get closer to it, but don't step on any gold. Don't pick up any gems or rubies. Don't even try not to look at them. Just don't even. I don't want anything in there to misinterpret us as thieves or scavengers or something. This is their treasure. I, and can, I can detect the ghosts a few more times before I run out of energy, so I can keep trying to detect them and try and get an idea of what their emotional state is like as we progress, maybe? Yeah. Or you can, ca you can, you can keep an eye on them. Oh, I could literally just choose. How long can yeah. you keep an eye on them for? Uh, how long does true sight last? Oh, God. Um, a while. Quite a while. while. I think it's like an hour. It, yeah. It'll either be 10 minutes or an hour, right? Yeah, it's an hour. But it's concentration, right? No. Oh, it's not. Nice. With no. your newfound ability okay. to resurrect truingly. Uh, well, we, we haven't tried it yet, but yeah. 
do you have a sense of whether these four are good enough components for it? Any one of them, or does one of them particularly speak to you? <laughs> I mean, if I'm, yeah, I guess if I'm trying to ascertain the value of these individual gems. Uh, you would need to get closer. Right now, you are yeah. kind of seeing them from a distance at, at kind of awkward angles. Um, yeah, you would need to, uh, you would need to get closer. How about? Like, as in, like, within five feet to examine them. Sure. I will also point out that uh, for Trucine, do you have an ointment for the eyes that costs 25 GP and is made of mo mushroom powder, saffron, and fat? Do you have that? It's a specifically named material component in the inventory. spell, and I've told you that you, if you want to cast spells with specific components, Hang you need on. to have them. There is a chance. That there you have an a... ointment for the eyes? I think I, I think I wrote it down in my, my inventory drops. as like material, uh, material components for true seeing. Okay, that's fine. Um, let me let me. You have done that. I will accept that. I, I might be able to help with the mushrooms. Yeah, you might. Yeah. In my little sack. And saffron. Oh, it's quite rare, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. Carry on, you guys. While I just scour through my bag. How about? Mm. I go and make my <laughs> way into one of the cells. Check your fucking spells. <laughs> no, I, I definitely have in the past, like literally. Been, Great. If I think you've I, not written it down, then I you think don't. I, I think I used it in the Feywild. Oh, there you go. Uh, and yeah. didn't well, re-up it. Yeah, well, check your spells, motherfucker. I fucking... Okay. <laughs> How about I go slip into How one of the cells it? and start going towards one of the statues doing this mark of the air business or whatever. And Miss Sentry does the thing that she does, tells me how my ancestors are getting along. <laughs> if they're happy to see me or if they're really disappointed. Are they noticeably like dwarves and gnomes? When Sentry saw them. Uh, uh, not a gnome, halfling. excuse me, Master Lucius. Halflings. Sexually. Thank you. <laughs> it's not, we're different. I, I actually hate gnomes. I don't think gnomes should be in the game. Get rid of them. Get real. Wow. Oh pointless. god, that's just somehow they're too, getting... They're, they're, that's the same thing as Halflings. This is just pointless. getting worse and worse. What about elves and humans? They seem too... No, hard. they're completely different. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Racist. No, <laughs> it's nothing to do with it. They need more unique lore. Uh, okay. Anyway... Um, <laughs> anyway, I'm not new. Yeah, when Sentry did it, yeah, they, they saw uh, dwarves... Uh, Sentry saw dwarves and Halflings. Like, you got the sense... You could kind of tell by their sort of, like, structure and their visages. Um, yeah. All right. I'm going to start I walking. Don't, I don't have any. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. What, did, what did you need? Mushrooms? Uh, I, I need a few mushrooms. Have you got any... Sa Do you happen to, for some reason, still have your cooking ingredients on you? He has pots and pans, so... It's not... Oh, oh great! He is, he is Samwise. <laughs> and wonderful, Samwise. benevolent DM. Mm, yes, the yes. DM of all DMs. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Howard has an ability. Yes, he backpack does. Backpack of useful stuff. Oh. Three items a day. Three uses per day. Three uses per day. Yeah. Would I be allowed to procure some saffron? Now I believe. Some mushroom. Now I believe. And some fetch. That your ability specifically says that you can have up to a certain GP value. 45 GP. Oh, luckily 25 <laughs> GP. So I'd say, yeah, you can use one use to get the, all three components of a true seeing yes. spell. Because also so they are <laughs> very <laughs> things that Howard would probably yeah. have. Saffron, fat. Yeah. He's maybe got like a pie and he's like scraped some I, of the I fat out of it. I do have a pie. Does, does anyone want some pie as well? I've got some crumble. How how has that survived? It's got like so lard. I, maybe it's lard, Is it not fat. like a bit soggy? Because oh, we were in a tight greaseproof okay. paper. Pocket pie. String. Pocket pie. Would you like a bit of apple crumble? You Howard you like does have crumble? specifically apple I crumble. I specifically sure. do Is have apple crumble. Is it technically a hero's feast? Uh, would you like to tell Ayla what happens when she has her crumble? Would you like some crumble? Sure. Okay. You eat the crumble. It, you know. You're poisoned. He takes, <laughs> You're dead now. He takes it out of a waterproof pack. You gain the poison condition. Serves it up. Take 1d8 damage. Puts a lovely little bit of a, like an apple blossom on top. Oh. Serves it up. Um, you gain 1d10 plus 9 temporary hit points. Ooh. So let me just roll that for you. 7 plus 9. So that's 16, 16 temporary 16 hit 10 points. 16 temp HP. Write that down. I want some of that crumble. <laughs> you want some of it as well? <laughs> I mean, nine, what is it? 16 temp 16. HP for Ayla is uh, much less than it is for Quill. <laughs> would, you, would you like some Crumble Master Quill? I mean... I got, I've got enough for everyone. Uh, I'm assuming the ghost in this vault don't care us just hanging around the door eating Crumble. Well, I mean, Ayla's doing it right now. I can have a check. <laughs> well, we're waiting With for you. With her hands, Ayla's just like... <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. Master Quill. That's uh, 8 plus 9, 17 temporary hit points. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? I only it had 286 points to start with, so I need... Uh, nine. Nine plus nine temporary points. Amazing. Mm. Yes, what is that like, Sam? Three. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve. Nine, so also 12 for you. Thank you very uh, much. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, it's so rich, though. You're feeling... Oh, full. here we go. Oh, pretty full, though. Hold yes, on. I'm, I'm going to have some as well, actually. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah I need, I need Everyone some. has some, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to have some as well. Uh, so you're That's basically, it's while, nine. you know, outside the vault, you're, like, having a quick snack, having a lovely bit of... Oh. So heavy, so oh, rich. It is quite rich. Six. I do use double cream. I do oh. use double cream. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, oh look, what's Lovely. this sentence here? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no! It reduces their speed by ten foot as long as they have these temporary hit points. So you got to burn it off. Yeah. It'll oh. punch me. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> this lasts until you have a short rest. <laughs> it's like everyone's like, oh, go sleepy, and like yeah. oh, you're feeling like really. Oh, you don't want to move. Funny enough, really nice. uh, once you have a serving of crumble, you must finish a short rest before you can have another. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, mm. that, that's dodgy. <laughs> I really want apple crumble now. Yeah. Not yeah. Lie. Kim. Very fucking well played, not telling them. I was like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was, I was expecting you to just tell outright tell Kate exactly everything. And the fact that you lured Tom in, I was like, chef's kiss. <laughs> I'm in. Okay. Yeah. So you fancy. line him up, I knock him down, yeah, baby. No, it's just great. <laughs> so it was, and it's just, yeah, it's like your speed is reduced by 10 feet. It's, when he, can I still fly? Yeah, but it's still reduced. Your yeah, speed okay. is reduced. All right. Great. Uh, Look, sure. On the plus side, while you're having a little snack, Master Quilt. Uh, I've had a rummage around, and uh, here's those things that you needed. Saffron? Saffron. Push the finger eyes. There you go. Uh, here's some mushroom, and here's, some, uh, here's a jar of Ooh, fat. So the, the time it takes you to eat the crumble is enough time for Quill to also... You scrunch like those mushrooms real quick. I do have a pes pestle and mortar. That's... So, of course. Just... Yeah. Isn't it mortar yeah. and pestle? Okay. Pestle gonna... and mortar? It's the same thing. <laughs> yeah. It's what I husbands suppose, call yeah. it. Yeah. So while, while everyone's munching down, uh, yeah, how it's just grinding up. Okay. Well, I'll combine it together into a green Play-Doh. <laughs> Who wants some of this in their eyes? I thought you were doing it. I can. I'm just... Does anyone else want it? I can take it. I don't mind. Uh, there is enough here for... Would it affect us? No. Yeah. You can cast it on another creature. Mm. It's got to lube you up. Would it skip people that don't have dark vision into straight true sight? Is that just seeing? True sight is more like seeing stuff like magic Ooh. and ethereal creatures and Not invisible just creatures. More in the room. Yeah, okay. you yeah. can uh, out of a range of. It would also it feet. would also give oh, you wow. like better dark vision. Like you, it would you would not need dark vision with true sight. You can just see the room. But it's innate. I mean, you don't have dark vision, so it I might get be more beneficial dark vision. But what I'm saying is, like, it, it's better than dark oh, vision. So, like, somebody who doesn't dark have dark vision, it would be like dark yeah. vision, yeah. It would so, be Lucius and Ayla have dark this vision. This is DLC. Be well, I mean, look, it, everyone's looking at it like it's kind of gross. Smear it my eyes. I forgot I had oh. glasses for a second and just really slapped them around. <laughs> oh. uh, you also realize, so like, oh no, Good. Howard gave you lard, not fat, and you've just rubbed loads of shit in <laughs> Uh, yeah, you cast. Uh, you can. Uh, you cast true seeing. Yeah, I do. Cool. Thomas, thank you. Um, the lens cleaner. Thank there. you. With true seeing, I would say Quill becomes aware of the creatures, the spirits, more obviously. Oh, oh. I know. Miniatures are happening. Now. I know. Secret doors hidden by magic and can see into the ethereal plane out to 120 feet. Nice. So there's... Oh, that's a lot of, that's a lot of oh, boys. That's a little boys. The first door to the left has quite a lot of boys. There's the first door to the right... It's 20 feet, but you can't see through, like, physical objects, right? You can see through... I mean, you can see secret doors, it's Ethereal said, plane, it. like... I mean, I, I guess if these walls are in the material plane... Yeah. I don't know. Up to you. That's a lot of boys stuffed in there. That's a lot of boys He's, he's really oh, grabbed like many now. fists like of boys. just went... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the upside down one is probably standing like on the ceiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's also there. crawling around. <laughs> <laughs> really packed in there. I just put them there while, so I can sort them out. That one, his head turns around. Sentry <laughs> <laughs> screams. You don't see it. <laughs> you don't see it. I just describe it to you and you scream. Yeah. <laughs> the idea of it. The horror! <laughs> um. Yeah, you've got a lot, of, a lot of dudes. Oh, there are some in the main hallway as well. Okay. Yeah. Not that it matters so to them. So what it looks like to Quill's eyes, to Quill's eyes, uh, a doll's eyes, um, you can see... <laughs> I see all my friends, you then I see cover my eyes. 
groups of either all dwarves <laughs> or all halflings. And it does seem to be a divide. One half of the room has dwarves, one half has halflings. And they are examining the contents of each vault, checking it, looking over it, almost going through the motions of putting things down, picking things back back up. And then they have guards outside who are like warily looking around, like checking around, looking as if they were as if they were all up to something suspicious. But they don't seem to be aware of each other necessarily. Um, okay. Uh, okay, so, uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah? Yeah. What? Yeah, there's quite a lot in there, actually. Oh. Uh, but, uh yeah, there's, so, I mean, I, I, we can walk carefully, and, uh, I'll tell you if any, just follow me, and we won't, I guess, step on them or through them. I don't know if they hate that, but we'll try not do that. Um, but they seem okay right now. They're just kind of... Walking around. They don't seem to be aware of anything. They don't look in your direction. They're not looking towards the door. I think first thing is maybe that Howard goes in first because we're the problem here. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, at least until we get to those lanterns at the end. I think so. Yeah, just see where the threshold is, maybe. Yeah. I mean, I could go first, but um, hear me out here. I could go behind Miss Sentry <laughs> and Miss Ayla. <laughs> behind, though, but they're the ones that might trigger the trap. You're not no, going... No, don't, you don't need to go in so far, Howard. Just just go in a couple steps. Also, I can't see any traps in the, in the at least the immediate doorway. <laughs> a couple of steps, pause. Okay, let me... We'll, we'll assess and then we'll follow it. It's fine. We're not going to yeah, we'll leave you. Yeah, close to you. Don't worry. Let me just get my whacking pot out. He pulls out a bad saucepan. Okay, well, don't look too aggressive. Don't look too greedily at any of these. Howard is literally holding a saucepan. He does not look aggressive. (laughs) (laughs) You look very fierce, don't I, (laughs) Mr. You look terrifying. That one's for my own (laughs) gaffer. Okay, all right. Well, I'll stay in the middle of the group and I'll just guide everyone. You've got to tell me exactly what's happening, Master. I mean, literally move your miniatures at this point. Like, um, try not to, like, basically try and take turns if you can, but don't worry about initiative. Just move your 30 feet. Let everybody else catch up and do whatever they want. And then, minus you know, ten feet for the crumble. Mi- minus ten feet for your crumble. Yeah. Yeah, until you so lose those temporary fine. hit points. I mean, let's just cross the threshold to begin with. All right. Like, okay. Get into the room and right. see. Well, if, if you want to, uh, if we basically have you guys step in where your miniatures where currently are. are. Now, yeah. So Howard okay. kind of in the middle, Ayla sure. a little bit ahead, Sentry next to Howard, and they I'll be in line fine. with Howard. I'll sure, let, sure. I won't. Somebody like, can just move. Me back. Uh, yeah. Can somebody lean over? I don't know if anybody's got. It might have to be Chris Trot. Uh, like, Ayla, if you can just I'm move sorry. Ayla back one. Ayla. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, you guys all step into the chamber. This. Sure. There you go, yeah. Yeah, if you um, you step into the chamber, Nothing no happens. reaction from the spirits, door doesn't move. Okay, uh, so far so good. I guess let's just, all right, let's just keep going. Nothing's sure. changed. Howard takes a single step forward. <laughs> sure, Howard takes a single step, five foot step forward. I'll take my turn. I want to do a single step forward. Sure. I mean, I'm assuming that everyone. No, 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 not five feet. One step. <laughs> step. Just a step. Um, yeah, I think that there is a. As Howard and the rest of you, you do kind of move that. Let's move everyone five feet in. <laughs> yeah. um, I'll do it. It's a bit easier. I mean, I guess we're basically just moving forward until something changes, yeah, right? Yeah. Or until I can see the, the uh, radius of. Pretty much. Yeah. Just keep going. Avoiding, yeah, if any of the spirits sort of move out, I'll kind of divert people around them as much I can. Um, as we pass by, those without true seeing, so everyone but Quill. Mm-hmm. Can I, well, can Lucius look in through the bars and see if there's any new information? <laughs> Um, like round the corner, and is there anything yeah, else in the you rooms? can. I mean, you don't. Yeah, there's there's new information, but not necessarily um, that kind of stuff. Uh, there's a couple of things. So as you're moving, Lucius, you're going to be looking in sort of those two chambers, um, seeing if you pick up any information. Yeah. I'll come back to that in a second. Quill, as you move further into the room, you do get the sense that the spirits are becoming more aware of your presence. Um, they almost like initially they were kind of warily looking around, seem to be ignoring you, and then almost like they're hearing or like they've they can smell something or they can you know they've caught a glimpse of something. They start like looking, yeah. like looking in the direction of the group moving, and like their their eyes narrow, and you can see that they've kind of got the um, 
you know, the end of Return of the King, where you see the green mm. ghost army. It's kind of got that, like, some of their bodies have, like, decomposed in their spectral form. Mm. They've got this greenish tinge to their bodies. They're like... Mm. Um, <laughs> Lucius, the main thing you notice about the chambers, pretty much what I described before, um, the plinths holding up the diamonds. Um, each of the rooms has various pieces of, like, gold and treasure and chests and all of this kind of stuff in it. Um... The uh, can you make a perception check for me? I certainly can. Thank you. Uh, uh, uh. Sixteen plus, plus a whole whopping. It might be pretty good. You're an elf. You should be proficient. What do your elf I see? Plus seven, so twenty-two. Twenty-two. Um, there's a couple of things. The first you notice <laughs> is laughing at that. <laughs> no, that's the. Cute. the <laughs> the diamonds on the plinths. Yeah, and yeah, I think it would make sense because Lucius has been around gemstones. You've been around diamonds and gemstones very often. Exactly. He is a gemstone. <laughs> you realise looking at the diamonds in the plinths as you kind of go past, you don't think they're real diamonds. They look like very exquisitely cut glass to replicate a diamond. And they're hollow inside. Um... Oh, me too. Mark of the air. Yeah, I got the, the other thing you notice up. is on yep. the right-hand side of the chamber in that first uh, right-hand room, um, one on like a cushion, like on the back uh, plinth, um, you see this exquisite pair of braces carved with like images of um, feathers mm. and hunters and, you know, uh, you know, this very kind of, uh, you know, various halflings on like a hunt, like a, you know, medieval tapestry and you've got like the guys chasing the boar kind of thing. Like almost like that, but with halflings and designs of uh, peacocks and birds and hawks and all of these kind of beautifully engraved on the braces. Um, wow, those are beautiful. You see those there? I suppose you're quite consumed by the dead. Uh, I can, but... As Quill, say, as Lucia says that, you kind of reach the middle of the room um, and that's cool when you kind of notice, oh, okay, something changes in the air. Yeah. All of you feel the temperature immediately drop. Oh. Like it goes icy cold. And the the lights, even the dancing lights, dim significantly. And your oh. light spell dims significantly. And it becomes this gloomy, oppressive atmosphere. Uh, and you hear a voice. Awfling dares enter all. Greed landers have sent one of their kin to take our riches. We warned you. And then another voice on the other side of the hall. Foolish dwarves, they've been brought by outsiders. Just thieves using our own blood against us. From the dwarven side. I'll not let a halfling take from our family ever again. Death to the Hillander! Death to the thieves! And you see the doors. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> behind you. And that's, my friends, where we're going to roll initiative. Nice. Are you yeah, going to talk about the brace? How would I run you automatically on this? Because that's how you encounter. So, uh, um, don't shit. Don't worry about doing your initiative. Or you actually, you can. Actually, yeah, you can roll your initiative because I can do it manually. Crash initiative, and I had advantage. Oh. Three to five. <laughs> right, well, okay, I'm going last. Well, maybe not. <laughs> All right, uh, Lucius. Thirteen. Thirteen. Quill. Seven. Seven. Uh, Ayla. Ten. Wow, that was true. Is I know. Ayla. Century. Nineteen. Nineteen. Howard. Sex. 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 Uh, Grammarly icon, please go away. <laughs> I don't. I don't need you right now, Grammarly. Actually, I'm. I'm quite Would okay. Would you like sure. to correct this sentence? No, it's it's a two. I'm pretty sure I know how how that one works. You know, just you're pronouncing brazier weirdly. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. It's brazier. <laughs> it's lantern. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, so uh, the first thing that happens is one of these minion groups uh... and become visible? Question you. Yeah. All of the spirits become visible. Suddenly. <laughs> Okay. You see out phasing through the bars of these chambers, walking straight through them as if they didn't exist. Uh, three more of these spirits join this group here, and they are basically going to... And they are very intent on Howard specifically. Uh-oh. Is there any way we can sort of defend Howard a little bit? Well, Sentry can. Pick me yeah, up, have an annoy me. So. Oh, I guess. Might be worth 
drop in that right alcove if you don't mind. This one? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, that's a lot of... Oh, God. So they oh, all boys. swarm towards poor little Howard. Um, Who has how much health again? Not much. Not much. Uh, as a reminder, minions, uh, they always fail saving throws. If you do damage to a minion and you do enough damage to kill one, your damage with a melee weapon this is, it passes over to nearby minions. Um, they basically all act in a pack, in a group, so when their group activates, they all activate at once. Um, and then there's other little bits and pieces, they have their own special rules and stuff like that. But these ones are basically, uh, there is enough of them where uh, I think three of them can attack Howard. Um, they're going to combine their attacks uh, to make one attack against Howard, basically. So here we go. Can I protect Howard against one of them? Uh, yeah, so this would be a disadvantage because it's one attack roll for all three of them, yeah. basically. So it's disadvantage to all of them. That's good because that was a natural 20 followed by a 14. <laughs> um, so that's going to be a total of 17 to hit you, though, unfortunately, Howard. Okay, that's all my turn pitch points gone. Uh, well, no, that's no. that's the AC to hit. Oh, oh okay. I'm a 15. Yeah. Uh, so it's only going to be uh, one, two, three, four points of necrotic damage. Okay. Um, but that's going to come out your temporary hit points, right? Yep. This normally would reduce your hit points by the same amount. Uh, temporary hit points, it doesn't. Oh, um, right. I didn't know that was a buffer for that. Oh, aren't you glad you have my point now? <laughs> well, I'm still slow. Well, it's, I mean, I it's luckily they're all coming at us. I'm a fat bird. I'm a <laughs> you little plump boy. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a very plump It does say the target's hit points maximum is reduced by the amount of necrotic damage dealt, regardless of whether it's temporary hit points. I'm just a little laughing. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, no, that's going to be. Thank you, Tom. Thank, thanks very much. I, uh, oh, that's, so that's uh, four <laughs> points. Your Why? maximum hit points goes like. down by four. Every time I get thanked by Mark, I know that there's four other people in this room that hate me for it. Yep. <laughs> oh, at that point. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. You mean I mean way before. Yeah. Uh, that is going to be you hate me before everyone that is else. Be <laughs> minion group cool. A's. Um, Lucius. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> Lucious. And it's like they're like, they're reaching out. And they are like very, right now, they are focused almost entirely on Howard. This is not the family Howard. reunion, I imagine. Betrayer. Thief. I'm not a traitor. Betrayer, thief, betrayer. I'm going to cast your help fourth level vitriolic sphere. Um, at the back there is a 20 foot sphere. Mm -hmm. So you'll be so able to hit an entire region. Um, Dex 19 save for all the uh, What kind of damage are you doing? I might do my regular acid damage. And you are targeting, can you just indicate to me which one's your, sort of which chamber you're going for? Oh, a chamber and I'm doing it here. Oh, you want to do it like in the middle there? Yeah. Okay. Like the circle. We have the, uh, we have the disc somewhere. It was a 20 foot radius, oh. massive. Yes. It might be under the, on the floor somewhere. Uh, yes. I don't know why. It's where trots all stuff. Get your disc out. <laughs> you go, my lord. What a big disc. Place it about here. Ow. Basically, slam it. You can catch those four. Let's uh, say this one all the way back here as well. You will nice. also catch a significant amount of treasure. Uh, More inheritance. So that chest is just out here. You'll catch these two pieces here. Oh, that's a good All right. Uh, so <laughs> they automatically failed that they, that they failed the saving throw. So just roll damage for me. Okay, very well. 10d4. Comes 26 because it got ones to twos. Are there any other ones there? And seven, sorry. 28. 28. 28 points of damage. That's fine. Let's say 28 points of damage. I'll ping off a Dichromancy and knock one of them nearest Howard. Uh, you can catch literally the last one. How much is your Dichromancy damage? It's four plus my charisma of. Um, five. Nine. Okay, that's gonna still leave them, uh, that's gonna still leave the last one upstanding, but you watch as the vitriolic sphere. I'll repeat this when I get back. Sure, <laughs> but you basically wiped out that entire half of the room. Oh my god. Yep. Oh, nice. Ding dong. And the treasure. So you watch as Lucius's acid sort of erupts in the back part of this chamber. Um, it coats the electron bars of a section, it coats like many of the, the spectral minions, um, and they do just evaporate as they burn. Quill, with your true sight, 
you begin to see those very same minions uh, reforming back oh. in those chambers. Uh, they seem to be coalescing around um, a chest oh. inside of it. Um, oh. You also notice Spawn point. that Lucius's acid coats that suit of adamantine armor and a big pile of gold next to it, and all the gold melts away. The armor is fine, um, because it's adamantine. So, so it's, wait, it's, does it melt unnaturally? Or is it like... Acid on metal. It's just acid on metal. It's not like they are just... No, it, I just... I removed, I removed uh, 2,800 gold from the treasure pile. Because it was acid damage, and so it melts gold. The material components for that spell <laughs> was 2,800 gold. In a way. Uh, Lucius, anything else on your turn? And then the last minion that you damaged with your Bankromancy, but it is still stunned. That's the one I'm going to do for my turn. All right, in that case, the second... Uh, minion group, I will choose to activate. It's going to be this back one. Sorry, chat, I will be back in a second. <laughs> <laughs> Pactivate. Pactivate. Remember that? I forgot. Robot Pactivate. Wars. Remember that? Pactivate. <laughs> They're coming in to surround us all. Oh, they are they just ignoring us? They're coming out of the We're bottom Howard, right yeah. room. But I mean, they're what? just actively going right past us to get to Howard. I'm a traitor. None of them have provoked an opportunity for me yet. Are any of them directing any anger towards me for melting some of the treasure? Uh, no. I will repeat that when I am in front of my mic. Yeah, no, Chris Trump, they're not. <laughs> uh, uh, no, they, they, the treasure, like, the damage to the treasure they don't seem to be too worried about. Um, oh, I also forgot I need to reform some of them. But they just come back straight away. Yeah. Uh, well, th they don't get to act. But yes. Okay. For instance, actually, they are reforming. I'll put them. I'll put them back when they, it's their initiative. <laughs> they have to kill them all at the same time. Um, or just so. Uh, yeah. Or just, or just there is. Their uh, one, two, three, four. So I'll make an attack against Howard. No. Uh, you've already used a reaction, so you yet. can't do that this time. It's only a ten to hit, though, this time, Howard. Didn't it? Right, so you managed to kind of like duck and weave as these more of these. Oh, you say duck creatures. and weave. I fall in a pile on the floor. Boom! <laughs> 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 Hearts and hands. Yes. Clang, 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 clang. Um, no, they, uh, yeah, they, uh, they, they miss with their attack. <laughs> um, that will be that minion pack. Uh, oh, and then a second minion pack actually activates. Here they come. Oh, do they? Yeah. Is this the one, uh, just one right at the very back? It'll be this, this the only one that can now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Unable to get to Howard, now they will. Lucia's just gonna get bopped. There. Yeah. I need you to hit the apple pie so, yeah. right out of me. So now unable to reach Howard, too many of their, uh, you know, you guys all protecting Howard and many of their spectral vi uh, creatures around them, they will look at Lucius and be like, thief, destroying our wealth, kill him. No, no. And they're going to attack. That's quite Lucius, unnecessary. Believe, that's going to be one, two, three, Make four. Make a persuasion check. Lucius. Don't do that. Uh, <laughs> 15 to hit. Mm. Does. Does. Hit. Does hit. 12 armor class. All right, six points of necrotic damage, and your HP is reduced by six. Your max HP is reduced by six. Oh, my God. Oh, what was the damage, sorry? Six. Six, well. six necrotic, Fat. and your HP is reduced by six. Oops. Okay. Six. Fuck. <laughs> uh, then I believe it is Ayla. Oh, I thought I was later in the initiative. Hi. I will rage as my bonus action, please. Okay. And then I will hit the group that is in front of Howard. Yep. At the moment. Yep. You currently have uh, one, two. Uh, you've got two of them in range of your current position. That's fine. Um, cool. Um, so that is eight plus fifteen to hit. Uh, yep. It has like a eight plus fifteen is going to yep twenty three really hits. Yeah. Uh, 16 damage plus 5 lightning. So 21. Uh, that one had 10 HP left. So that goes down to 11 to the next one. So the first one, which had already been damaged by Lucius's acid, you just evaporate it. It just descends into ectoplasm. The next one you strike and the, the force of the blow and the damage does kind of carry over, but that one is still standing. Um, so okay. Um, 
11 plus 15 to hit. Uh, yep. Hit. Uh, yep. I will um, tell you that these guys have an AC of 16. 20 damage plus 3 lightning. That's enough to destroy this remaining one, but there's no um, more within... Um, oh, no, there's one behind you, actually. So how much was that? Sorry? 20 damage plus 3 lightning. So 24. Minion math. rules, math. Do the math, man. Go do the math. Ah. Uh, so the one behind you is damaged. Uh, you managed to destroy one, and then the one behind you is damaged, but not destroyed. 22 lightning damage. To the one behind you? To anything around me. I don't know. Yeah, sure. That's the one you just damaged, and that You'll will be You'll probably kill it, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Nice. All right. Anything and then else on your turn? Can I just position myself as best I can in front of Howard? Mm -hmm. Please. Five foot step in front of Howard. Thank you. Okay. End of turn. Quill, why are they coming back? Uh, That's it. I'm working on it. That's it. All right. Uh, the yeah. l remaining, as it's now its initiative. Do they come back and act, or? Okay. So you watch uh, as Quill, you can see around this particular treasure chest full of gold and gems and things like that, these uh, spirits reform, uh, but that is their full turn to reform. Uh, it is now your turn. Okay, well, my holy symbol, which is the book, is going to levitate and spin in front of me. Actually, I'm going to move first. <laughs> uh, I want to move... Uh, I'm probably going to get attack of opportunity out, uh, from a couple of them, but I want to move uh, as best I can, I guess, just behind that uh, undead at the end. There. Um, so you would have to move through... Ayla and uh, well, Sentry. Yeah, and then move through these creatures, which I'm going to treat as an opportunity attack, basically. Okay. You move through the spirits themselves. Um, so I would have gone, yeah, through Howard. Sentry and Ayla and then around this one dude. But the ones at the back would get an attack of opportunity yeah. against you. So that's going to be one, two, three, four within melee range. Oh, just missing out. That's a miss anyway. Okay. Um, and yeah, I'll tell everyone that the chest in there is how they're coming back and that it should be dealt with. <laughs> in some way. I don't know if that means destroying. I don't know if that means whatever. But so I'm gonna... Like what Ayla's gonna do. You're gonna smash it? Cool. My book, my holy symbol, it's gonna twirl around and let out a burst of radiant light as I destroy undead. Mm -hmm. um, so they have to do a wisdom saving throw. Anything within 30 feet that can see or hear me. So... They fell. They fell. So yep. the room, I guess. Yep. And, and they are all less than CR1? CR4. Yep. Nice. 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 Uh, do I sense that they are reforming if I'm destroying? Yeah. Okay. So that was an action to do. I guess with my bonus action, I will heal um, Howard. Mark, do those bars go up to the ceiling the full way? Just curious. I think I'll... Yes. They are, yeah, welded in as well. They do! They are up to the ceiling. Uh, yeah, you watch as Quill's aura just kind of emanates out from him and just all of these spirits are like... <gasps> kind of driven back. But then Quill, <laughs> you do begin to see immediately they all... Um, and looking around, you can see on the other side as well the same thing. There's a treasure chest full of coins and gems and items and things in it, and they are kind of like... Almost as if they were like hunched around it, as if they were protecting it. And they're kind of coming cool. back to back to life. Yeah, I'll direct everyone to the other uh, and Did you already do your well? bonus uh, healing word? So this is going to be a, a second level, so 2d4 plus 6 healing to power. Just do your basic healing. Yeah. Holy shit, 7 plus uh, 6. I just need 5. You got it. Yeah. You got it. Um, and that's uh, yeah, that's Howard healing, and I am. Well, don't forget done. that your hit point maximum can't go up. From yeah, that's the five. Uh, but temporary hit points don't go back no, up either. No, that's the five. Oh, okay. Oh, I was on thirty-one, he was on, because and then got I, I got hit earlier. down to twenty-two. Yeah. 
Um, and do you then have temporary hit points? I do, but you brought my hit point max down to 27. But I'm, st I'm still missing hit points from earlier when I went sailing down the That's river. right, you were missing hit points from earlier. That's where I was getting confused. Okay, cool. Um, um, yeah, and yeah, just tell everyone, that chest there, they're reforming in there. That chest way back there, they're reforming in there. Um, and they are doing it very quickly, because they've done it already. Mm. Fun, 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 fun. Who's next? So one group begins forming immediately, but that is their turn. Howard. This adamantine armor, where is it? Uh, is up uh, high. It's about 10 feet up, um, uh, up on this alcove kind of like uh, shelf kind of area up Quite above. a ways away from me. Uh, yes, and there's no, like, you can't see, like there's no stairs leading up to it or anything like that. Huh? I want to go hide it, but I can't. <laughs> well, it's also dwarven adamantine armor, so it won't quite oh, fit you. Yeah, that would make sense, wouldn't it? You'd need to be refitted by an, an armor smith. Mm, what yeah. am I going to do? What are you going to do? I mean, you can get can to I the take a? Can I reach into my backpack of useful stuff? Yes. Take out a blanket yeah. and hide under it? You absolutely can. Yeah, if you would like to make the hide action, if you make a stealth check for me. Uh, Dex, if you don't have stealth. I don't have stealth. Dex is plus one. 19. 19. Oh, shit. Actually, a decent stealth check. Decent. He's very well hidden under that blanket, yeah. but there is now a blanket in the middle of this chamber with a quivering half lit underneath <laughs> it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm just mumbling to myself. Save me, great, great grandpappy orange silver. <laughs> No one will save a traitor and a thief. Oh, this uh, is ours. How treasure you are not. It is not yours. Anything else, Howard? Uh, as a bonus action, I will take the sidekick's action. Uh, I can help someone as a bonus action, so I'll help. A sequel. What would you like? You have to specifically say, like, an ability check, an attack roll. Like, what are you going to help them with? Do the undead destroy again? That looked nice. That's, that doesn't require a roll. Help Ayla. Help! I will help Ayla. I don't know trip something up. So okay. yeah. So is this it an goes... attack roll or a ability check? You want to give help on? An attack. Roll. All right. It's advantage to Ayla. Cool. cool. All right. Sentry. Um. Oh, Howard's hiding. I'm going to stay with Howard. Please don't step on me. I won't step on him. I will. <laughs> Stay step over me. Him. You could step over me, okay. so you're like, you know, <laughs> st standing over the blanket. Just lay your shield on top. Yeah. Bob. <laughs> no halfling here. Um, <laughs> can I try and like, speak out in <laughs> Dwarvish? Mm -hmm. um, can I just try and say like, we're not here to steal your treasure. We're here to help a fallen friend. Like our fight is not with you. You can. You do that. <clears throat> Make a religion. Thirteen. I would say that with a thirteen, you call out in this desperate hope that they'll listen to you. But you do remember, sort of like the teachings of like when when spirits like this are like bound to these kinds of places, um, and the fact that these spirits have persisted for centuries uh, with this sole purpose. Spirits like this tend to be beyond reason. They are not. They they. It doesn't matter what you say. They they see any trespassers in this place as thieves or as you know, traitors. You, you don't think that they are, you don't think that these are, this isn't a spirit that you can quell. This isn't a spirit, this is like, ven this is all their vengeance, all their hatred, all their greed has become its form of its, a form of itself, right? This isn't like a ghost, like an actual reasonable ghost that still needs to pass on. Yeah. These are like echoes more than ghosts. They're echoes of vengeance almost. Um, unfortunately, you just think that they are I'd say that that's, that's like a bonus action so far. Okay. Like, um, but yeah, unfortunately, these guys can't be reasonable. All right. For now, I'll they stay. can't be charmed. They're much like undead, but these guys certainly... There is no more sentience there for them to, to, to reason. Okay. They are just hate and, and greed and jealousy. Okay. Um, in that case, I would like to move I will cast... 
uh, ice storm okay. um, towards one of the treasure chests. Mm-hmm. So 300 by 20 foot radius. So I guess it's 20, 20 foot. It's a 20 foot radius within 300 yeah. feet, generally. Yep. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's like a massive one of these. Like, you can do that on, yeah, on that. Like, yeah. So on yeah, that, here, where they've actually started forming, spawning. Yeah. Um, so that will be a deck saving throw. They fail it. Okay, so 2d8 bludgeoning damage and 4d6 cold damage. Okay. Actually, six twelve. Actually, does it hit the like the chest as well? Uh, this is cold and bludgeoning. Yes, yeah, so it will it will hit everything in that room. Okay. Twenty eight damage. Twenty eight damage is enough. All the spirits are once again sort of like <laughs> evaporated. <laughs> they just <laughs> turn into dust. I'd say the chest, the bludgeoning damage. What were the d eights? The two d eights of the bludgeoning damage. Two d eight bludgeoning, four d six cold. Yeah. How much was it on the actual when you rolled? Oh. How much did you get? Two D eight. So one. Was it one? Can't read. Corner. There it is. is nine. Nine total. Yeah. So that would be halved because of the chest, so that goes down to about four. And then it was nineteen cold damage, wasn't it? Yeah. So that'd probably be and that well. that area is um, rough terrain until the end of my next turn. These guys aren't affected by rough terrain, but it's good for you guys to know. Um, so it's going to be about 13 points in total. You watch as the big chunks of ice that you summon that fill this entire kind of like vaulted chamber. The chunks of ice break and they smash against the wooden chest. This is a sturdy dwarven and halfling made, very finely crafted chest. It does damage it though. Um, and some of the gold coins kind of go spilling out of cracks and things like that. The frost builds up and you see like it kind of warps the wood and stretches parts of it as well. The other treasure in the room is also going to take a, a small amount of damage from this as well. Um, yeah, you damage, and you damage the chest. Nice. Uh, so, so 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136, 137, 138, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, how much damage? I don't like how blasé he's being. Um, I do 30 points on each. 30 points of acid? Ice. Of ice. So I mimic sentries. Okay, so a heart attack. So 15 does that. damage to each one. And you wanted to do which ones? Just sort of point which oh, chambers? Bottom left, bottom right. Bottom left and bottom right. Okay, so those both haven't been hit yet. So 15. That looks like it's not doing as much damage as it, as it could. Ice does not, no. Ice is kind of being halved. Again, it's like an inanimate object like this. It's still doing damage, but it's not as effective as something like acid. Um, okay. Let me just catch up on my notes a little bit here. Yeah, physical damage is probably better at bludgeoning. Hint, hint. A whacking. Mm. Woo! you got to get through the bars, I'll do it though. your right We could just open the chest. I feel like it'd be a bit like Pandora, though, you know, how, like, all the bad stuff comes out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, the, some of the chests, like, a couple of these some chests are, are actually open, and you can see the piles of golden stuff in them. Some of them are closed as well. Like, I'd say two are open, two are closed. Um, I know it's not my turn, but mm-hmm. the ones that are open, is there anything irregular 
Or is it just a pile of gold? It's loads. It's a mixture of stuff. Some, it's like gold, silver, platinum coins. It's pieces of art, like kind of carved figurines of precious stones. It's gems. It's you know beautiful pieces of fabric. Like it's it's all it's treasure. There's more wealth in those boxes than <laughs> you've ever seen. Yeah. And surrounding it in the room. Mm, so. Well, I was if that's like a, a highly concentrated area of treasure, it makes sense. That's the. Uh, are these spirits bound to, like, a physical object? Is that why they're still here? Is it the chest for all of them? They begin two more groups reform. Ayla. Mm. Hello. I asked that on my turn. Can uh -huh. I yes. try and get into this one? Yeah. How would you like to do that? It's a kind of like a wall of jail cell bars made of electrum. But you said that we can pretend... They have been badly separate. damaged by Lucius's acid. Mm. Juggernaut. You can certainly try and break them down. Yep. Yeah, you can try and... You've got a couple of options. You can try and squeeze through the bars. Uh -huh. uh, you can try and smash the bars and break them down. Um, you could use, if you had, like, you know, spells like teleport or things like that, you can try those. Oh, but, I know you teleport. don't specifically, but this is to the group. Um... um Yep. Can I try and force them apart where it looks like Lucius has done the most damage to Yeah, him? sure. Uh, it will still be a high DC because it is like solid electrum, but Lucius's acid has weakened it enough to give you... I mean, you've got advantage anyway, so I'll lower the DC this time. Um, but it's still a high DC. Uh, squeezing through is probably easier, but if you fail, you get stuck. Yeah. If you fail at opening the bars... I mean, and this is an action, by the way. This, is your, this will replace an attack to try and break through the bars. Whereas squeezing through, I would say, would be uh, half your movement, but if you fail it, you get stuck. What's the check to squeeze through the bars? Uh, it would be acrobatics. I'll try. I'll try and open the bars first. <laughs> As in, like... <laughs> yeah, no, yep, I'm not. Sure. I'm not scared of that. Also, if you break them, it means that everybody else will be able yep. to move through. Yeah. yeah. So that's the other benefit yeah, of breaking three. them. Okay, I'll do string. Sure. Then. Do you have advantage because of rage? <laughs> Just a straight strength. Uh, athletics, it would be athletics. athletics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Be athletics. So, uh, 14 plus 13. 14 is not shit. <laughs> it's above 10. Uh, so 27. Uh, you said it was high. I did, yeah. but I did say it was lowered because of the acid as well. Um, it would normally be 30 to break the bars, but because of Lucius's acid, I lowered it to 25. Uh, so oh, yay. you. No, I rolled a 5 before that, which was. So Ayla right. creates right. a big enough gap <laughs> in that that now any medium sized creature can move through. Um, but yeah, that is your action. You move up, kind of break and stretch the bars, um, opening up a room into that chamber. Cool. Can I bonus action just blast my aura for the? Yeah, yeah. You can hit one of the minions. Guys who are close by. Yep. Because may as well. Yep. Uh, they automatically fail, so you won't take damage. I'm just going to take. Uh, Sixteen lightning damage. Oh, actually, no. No, I rolled full it. A bit low. Earth. Still? One of them is still up, but badly damaged. That's okay. Um, all right. Um, I well, guess they're all, my wait. Turn. They're all up. One took damage. Yeah. Oh, don't you have advantage? Because I gave you the health action. I did on, on a melee my, attack. On the th oh, yeah. On a melee attack. That was not an attack. Yeah, on my attack. Room. That was a saving. Throw. Right. The last room begins to fill as the minions, the spectral vengeance spirits oh, reform. Yeah, do it again. Uh, Quill. <laughs> Uh, well, this time if you were going to turn on dead, the other ones might be a bit more protected because it's yeah. 30 feet of you. Yeah, that's kind of why I moved that far forward. I know they can't be charmed, but incite greed. It's literally like their entire thing. Read it out to me. Um, incite greed. So when I cast a spell, I present a gem. I'm sure. Is is there a gem on the floor that I could just pick oh, up? Right work? by your feet, no? You can move to like any of the treasure chests inside the rooms. There is a pile that of gold up on the cool. alcove. If they're, well, if, they're, if I'm wondering if this is worthwhile, but um, when I cast a spell, I present a gem, use the material component, choose any number of creatures within range, 30 feet, uh, succeed a wisdom save, which I guess they fail, or be charmed until the spell ends, um, or until uh, we do any damage to them. Uh, a creature can do nothing but use its mov movement to approach you, approach the gem in a safe manner. Uh, and while it's within five feet of me, it cannot move but simply stares greedily at the gem that I present. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they uh, keep repeating saving throws, which I get. So, to given the fact that these are minions and that that would completely break the encounter, 
No. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it is also you said because, they couldn't be charmed. Uh, yeah, they can't be charmed. They're not. Un they're undead. They can't be charmed. They're not. They're not in their mind to. They are protecting their treasure. They don't care because otherwise they would look at your magic items and they would greed and lust after those, right? Well, yeah. I know that the spell is inciting greed, hmm. but they they are more concerned with what is theirs than what you are offering. And yeah, they are immune to being charmed. So. Fair enough. Breaking marks and cowboys. Also, also that because of the nature of minions automatically failing saving throws. They would and also like they would not be able to attack. Yeah. You could just lure them into a corner and then just be like, well, I was, gonna, I was literally just going to throw the gem yeah. like down the hallway. <laughs> um, and, that would, yeah. and that would end, yeah. That's... No, but yeah, it, I think that with the nature of them being undead spirits that can't be charmed, it doesn't yeah. unfortunately work. Um, cool idea. It was yeah. It was just because they are greed filled spirits, yeah, but like greed filled spirits, but for their own treasure. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's, they're protecting their thing. You know when you're mucking it up. Okay, yeah. well I'm gonna go more to the center of the room. Get everything within thirty feet of me. Yeah. Book twirls. A burst of light. So what's within thirty feet of me? Blast them all. 20, 25, yeah, that's, that's everything. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, the last use, right? It's uh, my... Da, 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 yep. Pull yourself time. Pull myself a little bit more time. Every undead, gone again. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and with my bonus action, let's see, do I have any good attacks for a bonus action? <coughs> hmm. Right. No, I think I think um, so. I've moved. I've so moved ten. One feet. more giant pulse of holy aura, holy energy, as you channel channel uh, divinity. Uh, yeah, you destroy or like at least destroy these manifestations of these spirits. But yeah, you can already begin to see them beginning to reform in each of those chambers around their their precious treasure. Uh, unfortunately, because I am fat and full of crumble. <laughs> Uh, it's I, a great crumble, though. I don't think I could get to some bars and get through them just yet, but I, I think I'll make some headway towards okay. just the uh, top left one there. Okay. Yeah, you can speak to the bars. Hollow bones. Yep. Yep. Uh, and as you do, uh, one group of minions is going to start reforming Howard. Uh, I'm going to carry on cowering. Um, is my 19th stealth still valuable here? Still valid? Right, DM answer. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to take the bonus So action. far, the spirits have not had a yeah. chance to do anything, yeah. so you don't know. Yeah, we have been ganking them hard. I will bonus action help Centre. Okay. Uh, attack. Okay. Like, nice. Yeah. Okay. Whether or not that's valid, I don't know, but that's what right. I'm going to do. Sentry. I'm going to stay here in the middle under my blanket. Yeah, it's just hide. Sure. It's nice, it's warm. Sentry. It's the best place to be, to be honest. I'm stressy in underneath it. Oh no, your movement is less. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's 15 already. I'm going to have more crumble till they finish the short. Yeah, I kind of more crumble. I'm eating apples. I'm going to nap down there. I didn't use all the fat. Oh yeah. Dipping the apple fat. Oh god. Sent we. I will cast Aura of Life. Okay. Um, so it's concentration. Okay. So it's, I give myself a 30 foot aura. Okay. And then. Each non-hostile creature in the aura has resistance to necrotic damage, and its hit point maximum can't be reduced. Mm. Oh, um, I forgot about that one. Yeah. Yeah. Non-hostile <laughs> living creature regains one hit point when it starts its turn, and the aura with zero hit points. I say, if oh. they have zero, they, they get zero. back up. Yeah, That's so nice. I will cool. pop that off, and then I'll bonus Aye. action activate Starbreaker, and get that ready to go. Okay. Call it out. Cool. Alright. And then, yeah, that's my turn, just protecting right. Howard. Uh, it's going to be the start of a new turn. Another group of spirits is going to reform. Uh, they do not appear to be showing any sign of stopping. The damage to the chests does not seem to be having any sort of effect on their ability to manifest. Um, they just continue to respawn. But that is where we're going to have to take a break. Uh, I need to go pee pee. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I would like to take a break. Yeah. Hey, that's going to be it for this uh, first part of High Rollers. We'll see Fuck you up some two. chests. Get rid of some ghosts. Yeah. See ya. Hello, welcome back to part two of High Rollers. The party are currently in the Vault of the Horn Silvers. 
a vault of ancient dwarves and halflings who owned a precious diamond called the Star of Siaska that the party hoped to use as the spell component for bringing back Nova Vija. And we find them in a battle as they are fending off waves of these vengeful spirits that just seem to keep reforming no matter what, no matter how many times they are destroyed. Um, and that is where we are picking up with a brand new round recipe. Oh, 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 oh. And as we do, uh, I'm going to put some five more ghosts on the table, and then it's going to be Lucius, uh, Virian, Elowin, Elanasto's turn. Yep. What are you going to do? I call out. I think we just need to push forward and do the riddle. So, Howard, I'm going to stand near Howard okay. and encourage Howard, let's go to this room in the bottom left and I'll carve a hole through the bars for you. And I'm gonna use chromatic orb, um, acid on the bars. Okay. Is it quite easy for me to hit? It's okay. easy to hit, but uh, what level are you casting at? Like the damage will, you know. To make sure it comes through fifth level, okay. so 78. Well, roll the damage for me. Yeah, I'd say like, no, no need to roll to hit. You can't really miss. 49. 49, I'd say, is enough. Yeah, you can easily destroy uh, the bars uh, on that side. I'll remove them in a minute. Um, if I'm... No, yeah, we've wiped out all the other ones apart from the top corners, right? Or Currently, they, yes. For now. So Dicomancy's not near anything. Mm, I'd say... With your dark vision, you could like try and wing a Dicomancy sort of for one of the minions, yeah? So that's 10 points. All right, the yeah, chest. I'll note it. Yep. Um, and yeah, I'm going to move with Howard, so I'm going to reserve my move. Mm, you've already spent your action, you can't hold your action. Well, anymore. I think I can. I know you think you can, but you can't. <laughs> so you're like, I'll move with you, Howard, and you stand. See you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see you in six seconds. Yeah, nice. All right, but yeah, actually, but yeah, I, I do you have a, a preference on the, on this side? Bottom left. Bottom left. So that's the one you've melted the bars. Yeah, I've melted the bars on that one. Shall I remove? Right, I can do it, I'm going to do it in a minute. Because I have to go put down ten more ghosts. Oh, in well, which well. room? That room. Are you not going room. in that room? I'm not, I'm well, not going in well, that room. Well, they all have. Room, they, they yeah. are. I'm not going in no room with no ghosts. We'll defend you. Right. It's going to be fine. It's not like They spend their whole turn reforming. Uh, so we go to Ayla. Hi. Uh, so I'm going to go inside. Now that I've got the bars down on this one. Mm-hmm. I will go inside and go to the chest. Uh, the, the spirits are currently blocking the way. They came out difficult terrain. Not for long. I have 35 feet of movement. Minus Even 10. With, yeah. Oh, is that with 10? Yeah, in that case, like, yeah, you, can, you can get to the chest. You'll be moving through these creatures, though. I'm going to have to do that at some point anyway. Okay. Um, can Is the chest already open? Uh, this one, I would say yes, is. Uh, you're also going to take 10 points of necrotic damage. Okay. Uh, five, that, actually, because yeah, that'll be five. holy aura. So five necrotic damage. Okay. Um, can I rummage around in the chest and see if there's anything... Yeah, you can do. Yeah. ...that I can the find? investigation check. Mm -hmm. Investigation. Ayla is very Natural good. 20! Hey. Minus one, 19. <laughs> <laughs> and that is why natural 20s are not an automatic success on ability checks. Um, I mean, yeah, like you start like pulling stuff, you're looking for like anything glowing, anything that looks particularly special, but it all looks kind of amazing. It's all these beautiful works of art. Some of, uh, This actually one wasn't damaged by Lucius's acid. Um, so you're kind of like rummaging through it. Nothing really strikes you as something specific in this chest, no. But the whole chest is like, the chest is beautifully made, it's full of treasure. I mean, it's weighty, but you could, somebody could pick it up and carry it. Um, you could probably carry it under one arm if you wanted. People like, somebody like Lucius and Quill or, or, or Howard would have to use both hands to carry it, but you and Sentry, I'd say, can carry one of these chests one-handed. But you would lose, like Sentry, you would be able to use your shield, for example, yeah. like you'd be carrying one. Should I just pick the whole thing up? Sure. See if they come with it. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna pick it up sure. and move it out. Sure. I'd say bonus action to pick it up. Uh, do you want to move back out the way you came? Yep. It's gonna be 11 points in necrotic, okay. so half that down to five. Um, but yeah, and then you get back to, basically to your entire spot. It was that 35 movement is getting in, moving through the ghosts, picking the loot up, and then moving out. When you touch the loot, 
uh, and you begin picking it up and carrying it out, um, a couple of things happen. Oh, God. Um, the first thing is you don't fully get out of the room, because as you pick up this treasure, you feel this oppressive weight uh, kind of oh. bearing down on you, and your speed is halved as long as you're carrying one of these treasures. Um, the other thing is all of the spirits in that room are like, don't touch that thief, kill, kill her. And they just focus dead on you. No longer mm. interested in anything else, they focus solely on Ayla. Can I drop the chest? Uh, on your turn, you could, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> You've picked it up, that's your free, I get to pick up an object, but next turn you could drop it, for sure. Yeah. I mean, if, yeah. They, if they're respawning on the chests. We're trying stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll move you in in a second when I do other stuff, but yeah. Uh, anything else, Ayla, on your turn? Mm, no. All right, in that case, I'm move you back in the room. With the chest. You got that money, though. I don't want the money, I want them to die. And these yeah. five spirits basically surround you, Ayla, and they're just gonna pummel all their attacks into you. Because there's five of them, uh, their attack and damage bonuses are doubled against this. Uh, so that is gonna be, uh, I think, 19. I don't know if that's, yeah, I'm not gonna hit you. Uh, so they're kind of like, you're still managing to kind of like pull to the side and dodge and kind of move around. Um, what? I've been forgetting the key points of these minions, their reaction when they get killed. I've been forgetting that this entire time. They are suddenly enraged. They suddenly, just somebody touching their treasure <laughs> seems to spread energy throughout the whole chamber. How weird. <laughs> uh, but yeah, these uh, these ones here, they try and attack you, but they are un unable to land a uh, an actual blow against you. Uh, Keelik and Kalan. Um, so the treasure is now on the other side of the bars for Ayla. No, uh, no she didn't quite make it. She picked it up and then it looked like, oh, she suddenly slowed down massively. 5, 10, 15, 20. I can use all of my movement to get to you, basically, if I wanted to try and take it off you, but... Um, or try and figure out what's wrong. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, because my thinking is getting all the treasures in one place and then just focusing... Uh, keeping control of them while we figure out the rest of the room, but uh, I don't believe that is going to be the case. Destroy them. Uh, I'm going to do um, a holy aura um, for everything within 30 feet of me, which is everyone. Um, they're going to start shedding dim light, uh, have advantage on all saves, all creatures have disadvantage against them. Uh, and when a fiend or an undead hits them, uh, they are going to be blinded. Yep. Um, so I'm going to use that on everyone um, and hold that for a bit. And then my bonus action is going to be kind of shaking around a little bit anxiously. Okay. And that's my turn. Great. <laughs> out of the hole Lucius made. Not the thing. I think they can go through the bars, yeah. right? Yeah, but yeah, would, would go, if you were no, a ghost... No, they've just realised where Howard is. They've not had long enough to figure it out yet. So... Oh, yeah. Yeah. You up for manually tracking blindness on every single minion? Because it's easy. They just get disadvantage. True. Um... They, and these things can sense life. They don't need to see, they can sense life. They'll still get disadvantage anyway because of the spell. Yeah. But uh, no, they, blindness wouldn't affect these creatures. Uh, they can sense life. What's the benefit of blind from this spell then? Yeah, probably because it can affect um, fiends. Oh. Yeah. But yeah, on und some undead don't have that. Some undead don't have like um, blind. But they have disadvantage anyway. Yeah, it's pretty weird. It means that they couldn't, like, maybe attack stuff with spells. Like, they yeah, can't target um, creatures with spells and stuff. Range attack, yeah. There's, there's reasons for it. Um, but, you know, these things are going to come swarming towards Howard. They melt through the bars, just like I described. They phase through the walls, um, and they just... Wow. Uh, because there is five of them now, Howard, their attack bonuses are doubled, and their damage bonus is doubled, but they have disadvantage. I'll protect them. They already have disadvantage, so you would, it would be a, a waste. 
Uh, 13 to hit in total. Does not hit. Does not hit. So that holy aura from Quill managing to fend the spirits off as they are unable to strike you. Um, and that's going to be Ooh. their turn. Howard, it is your turn. Begging your respect, Master Lucius, I don't think I can go anywhere right now. They're still coming for me. There always will be. Suck it up, you... <laughs> I don't say that. <laughs> Little prick. <laughs> I don't say that. Oh. I resign, sir. <laughs> um, you can distract them. Pick up some treasure and they'll leave Howard. Can I use my bonus action to disengage? Yes. Uh, but I've, only got, ability. I've only got 15 foot of movement, so... That's true. At a burst. You can make a run for it somewhere. Yeah, I'm going to... I'll start doing what Lucius said, because he's my captain after all. Uh, I'll go to that gap in between Lucius and Sentry. So you can get how it's a bit awkward for me to get. Yeah. yeah. So that's five. five. I just feel like I don't want to be next to Sentry. <laughs> but, got this in mind. Yeah, but I feel like this thing is going to come out for me in a second anyway. Oh, they are, yeah. Uh, so one towards me. Yeah. So. And then one towards that room. Uh, yeah, that one. Cool. All right. End of turn for Howard. Would you like to use an action? Uh, might as well try and hit something. Uh, with can I hit that one that's behind Lucius? Five foot. Uh, if it's within five feet, you can. Yeah. I can't really see it from here. So. Eight to hit. Uh, eight will not hit. Yeah. Just phases through. I'm gonna go back <laughs> down and blanket form. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sent we. All right, I'm gonna hit the spectre in front of me. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. 22. Uh, 22 will hit. Nice. Alrighty, let's get some divine smites going. Let's have a look. And I've got Starbreaker active. So yeah, I'm dead as well. So let's do I, I will make one thing. Yeah. Uh, you are currently only in range of one, two, I think three. Oh, actually, no, because you've got, got ten, 10 feet of reach, yeah, yeah. So actually, you can hit loads of them. Yeah. Sick. It's true. It is true. It is true. Let's do level so two standard. One, two, three. So let's do. Let's do five. So level three, divine smite. One more because they're undead, so 48. Balance game. Real balance game. Paladins. Paladins. Like they love paladins or something. Yeah. Boop. They can do everything. 10. Not all of them, though. Oh, you build them right, they can. Hmm. 21. 25. 29. <laughs> Still going? 37. 45 plus 4, 49. All right. You destroy two of these spectres and badly injure a third. Nice. That will be the closest one. So. Yeah. His secrets! I saw it all. My mind. Cool. So yeah, in, with one blow, Starbreaker's green sort of energy form rips through these two spirits. The third one kind of takes the last brunt of energy. Um, badly damaged, but yeah. Can I then move up between Lucius and the other two spectres? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you very cool. Thank you. Yep. And then go for an attack on one of those yep. as well. Absolutely. Cool. I'll do the same thing. Mm. That's no. not Lucius. Oh, sorry. That's, yeah. Oh, these ones. <laughs> those ones, yeah, those ones. Thank you. 22 again. Yep, it's Rock and roll, same again. <laughs> uh, One of which already injured, right? 18, yeah. 18, yeah. 21, 21, 27, 29, 30, 31, 34, 38, plus 7, 45, plus 4, another 49 again. Magical. So, let me just work something out here. And I rolled the same attack as well. Yeah. Three of them die. The entire nice. group. So that's a level three divine smite. But one. Mark, what happened when die? What do you mean? You had a reaction or something? They do. Thank you. Thank you, Thomas. Um, no, it's good. You said. So yeah, no, 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 it's good. Uh, I'm trying a lot of things. So as you strike, uh, it would have affected the first ones, but your attack rolls were so high enough, it wouldn't have really mattered. 
as each of these creatures kind of explodes into sort of like this misting effect around you, mm -hmm. um, you feel this kind of pressure, this intense uh, weight of avarice, this burden of greed. Uh, you gain, so you gain stack. You gain a stack of burden of greed for each one of these creatures Ooh. you defeat. Um, uh, you currently, so for each stack of burden of greed you have, you have a minus one to attack rolls, ability checks, and saving throws. Mm -hmm. Um, when you have a stack of five or more, other things happen, but they happen at the start things. of your turn. Yeah. Cool. And it's not the start of your turn. Um, that's all you know. Wait, was that per creature then? Per... Yeah. And you killed like... Five. Okay. So you have five... Have five stacks. Burden, burden of greed at five. Okay. A score of five. Uh, so that's minus five to attack rolls, ability checks, and save throws. Fuck, it is so good you forgot about that for me. Awesome. Yeah. Because I would have had, what, well, like 20 stacks it's twice? If, you can, if they're next to you. Right, okay. It's if, they, if they're next to you. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, we'll see what that does. That's good. Yep. All right. Yeah. Uh, top of the round, uh, minions. Minions. Already back. Minions? No, it's not that group. Oh. Oh. The ones near me. They can reach Howard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well... Actually, I feel like some of them... They'll still go for him. In the most low effort attack of opportunity, I'm just going to... It doesn't even hit. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. Uh, yeah, only uh, two of them are able to get into melee range. Howard, uh, with disadvantage. Yes, indeed. Oh, that's still going to be a 15 to hit, though. Exactly. Two points of necrotic damage, two uh, hit points, it's maximum reduced, hit points. Oh, it's, it's not because it's a sentry. So it becomes one point of necrotic damage because it's resistance. They are blinded. It matters. <laughs> it's part of my spell and my entire theme Blinds. right now. Completely blinded. Just like what? Lucius! <laughs> wow! I mean, you've literally wiped the elves <laughs> twice. I've killed 40 of them. <laughs> you've wiped these guys, yeah. Okay, Lucius is going to move into the room that he created the hole. Okay, yeah, yeah. Move yourself. Oh, this apple crumble. <laughs> um, yeah, I need to get hit. I imagine you guys do those little burps when you can taste them. Yeah, they get hit. Yeah. 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 Are you moving through any of these creatures? No, I'm going through. You're going to go around them? Sure. Over. Uh, Over. When you provoke the opportunity yeah. attack, how many are within five feet of you? One. Uh, oh, wait. Message. No, one hit. Two. Two? Uh, they miss. Okay. Yep, unable to strike. So it was minus 15 to speed. Ten. Minus 10 to speed. So I went 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Um, can I hit the chest from here? Where is it? Yes, yeah, it's within, it's 10 feet. Yeah. I'm going to pick up the chest. You want to pick up the chest? Yes. It has to be within 5 feet of it. It's 10 feet away. Okay. Just reach. <laughs> Uh, the stone plinths with the diamonds, by the way, are the columns. Yeah. On the map. I point at that and say, Howard, you need to get to this in a second. I'm going to move the chest I out. I can't see anything. I'm being attacked, sir. <laughs> okay. You still have, that's your movement. Yeah. What's I'm going to... Action, you could dash. As I say these things, spin round and fire a little cantrip. Sure. At them. I got... Firebolt. Screw it. Okay. Firebolt. Go big. Okay. Fire me. That's great. It's crazy. Okay. Is it like orangey fire? Oh, it's fire. Purple. 16 to hit. It's what other colour would it be? Just <laughs> purple, duh. Oh. <laughs> Should be 4d10 or 3d10? Yeah, 4d10. 14 points of fire damage Not on the closest to, one. Not enough to destroy them. This is just me as I was casually saying to Howard. Oh, yeah. really nice. <laughs> as you're gesturing. Uh, yeah, you kind of scorch one of these spirits, it kind of burns away part of its spectral form, but still remains in place. And that didn't look like it half the damage, right? That looked like it did the full amount. Did the full amount, yeah. Okay. Yep. End of turn? End of turn. Oh, look, there's more. That's right, Howard. There is. As perceptive as Quill. <laughs> I, well, I don't need a burgeoning perception, sir. They're all hitting me. Got a burgeoning what? God. <laughs> Chasing after him. They're all hitting me, sir. Uh, there is five of them surrounding Howard. They get double their uh, attack bonus and damage. 
with disadvantage. That is a 25 to hit. Oh my god. All right. That is going to be uh, 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 6, 12 points of necrotic damage. Half to six. Okay, so Not reducing it your health. Resist, and it doesn't reduce your max HP because of Sentwi. Crucially, though, you burst with radiant light and you blind them. Yeah. It does nothing. Because so they can sense where important. life is. They're blind. Part of the spell. Ayla. That's what it does. Oh, hi. Um, <laughs> oh, nugget. It's what it does. I drop the chest. Great one, Barry. You drop the chest. <laughs> can I see if the... The spirits seem to no longer be as interested in you. They're like, ah. Interesting. Is the diamond on the column, mm -hmm. is it something that you can remove from the chamber? Looking at it, it's like set into like a, uh, into like a, like a fitting. So um, you, you could, but when you'd have to force it, you'd have to like break it out. I don't think I want to break it. Okay. Okay. Um, in which case. Can you drop the chest. <laughs> the spirits are just like, and they begin looking in the direction of Howard. Okay. I don't like that, so I'm going to pick up the chest again, I guess, and move outside this chamber. Pick up as you move, yeah, sure, okay. And just go as far as... So you go, uh, so your movement speed at the moment is 35 with how yeah. it's crumble. Yeah. That would go down to half of that, which rounded down is 15. So you get 15 feet out of okay. the room, basically. That, I guess. Let's just put more in one place. Let's just take all the undead and shove them over there. Good okay. God, what is, happening? is that your turn? Do you want to do anything else, Ayla? Can I see if I can smash the chest? You can. By throwing it down? Yeah, you absolutely can. Do you want to make a, make a athletics check for me? Uh, nine it's plus pretty well made. It's pretty durable chest. Nine plus thirteen. Nine plus thirteen. You, you, you throw it down on the ground. Yes. It's an athletics. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, athletics is strength. You get advantage. Do I get advantage on athletics? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So strength ability wasn't check. As, oh, It wasn't as good. Okay. I got one more. You throw the chest down and it kind of, you hear like wood crack and snap and you've dealt some damage to it, but it doesn't break instantly. Uh. It's like you kind of, and then the spirits once again, as soon as you're not holding uh. it, they turn their attention elsewhere. I'm um, trying things. Yep, cool. It's not working. Well, that would be, that would have been your action to try and break the chest. <laughs> if you would like to use your bonus action, yeah. that it would be your bonus action yeah. to pick the chest up. I'll just do that. Right. Okay. Uh, this, this seems to distract them. <laughs> I mean, it's, just it's the, I think it's helping. Well, I'm trying to get them to come away from the vial. The, yeah. the diamond. diamond, yeah. It's just how do we get Howard around the other chest. quicker? You guys need to, maybe, I don't know. I'm making this up as I go along. Trying to make it easier for Howard. I keep destroying the chest. Yeah, I can. I'm gonna try. Spirits are gonna surround Ayla with disadvantage. Hi. It's a 15. They oh. don't don't hit you. Quill. Uh, all right, I'll uh, get into a position where I can do a lot of fucking. Uh, what? <laughs> you worried for that, maybe? No. 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 Okay. No. That's what no. I said. No. Okay. Uh, five, ten, fifteen. 20. Uh, right next to Sentry, I'm going to do a Word of Radiance cantrip. So 4d6 plus 6 damage radiant to them. Nice. That does 25. To the one next to Sentry? To anything within 5 feet of me, which is uh, the one behind Sentry, and then there's two next to me. It's the same throw, right? Mm, no. Yes, it is, but Constitution 22. Uh, and yeah, Radiant, if that does any more or less, whatever. That kills them three. Great. Kills them three. Uh, as you killed them and they are within five feet of you, Quill. Oh, yeah. You feel the burden of greed. Three sacks of the... Wait, three does sacks. that also apply to sentry? Uh, no, it applies to the triggering okay. creature. Oh. I... Yeah, I, I triggered. So you feel like as you disperse their vengeance, their greed builds upon you, weighing you down. I mean, uh, yeah, I have no decent bonus actions. I just want to help... I want to help Howard move. Yeah. And I'm still... I want him to hit me. Get rid of my temp HP. Well, so I can stop then. being so full of crimbles. 
Uh, I need, yeah, I need to get through the bars as well. Yeah. You can squeeze through. You're small enough. I know, but then I can't get, that. then I can't get the chest out. Just pick it up and hold it there. <laughs> okay. It'll be pissed off enough. Just dancing with it, shaking around. It gets their attention. Yeah. <laughs> Just get it away from there. She just watches as a group of spectral spirits reform in front of her. Oh, goody. How it wants over. I don't know if this is the right course of action, by the way. It's just what I've... I think you... We need to stop our chests. Yeah. <laughs> like, I can't... I, I can't I, do I, this with them, like... I mean, it's I mean, the, the, the chests the, are going to take a while to destroy. Because there's the quite... diamonds as well. Like, if there's nothing in the chest, we destroy the chests. The loot spills out onto the ground. They respawn on the loot on the ground. Uh, well, I'm tr I'm trying to. We haven't you broken may the chest always yet. make skill checks if you would like to ask me. Like, is this you know, if we break the chest, will this work? You can always. Well, Lucius is headed towards things. that diamond, uh, and well, the so chest. are you by extension, right? Yeah, really, I want to go towards the room that Ail has cleared out, but it's... That's the other side of the thing, and you are so, full of Crumble. Yeah. Well, I need one more hit point to go, and then I'm done with Crumble Belly. Um, I guess I'll just have to keep trusting Lucius and keep going towards there. So I'll disengage and move 15 feet towards the mm -hmm. room that Lucius is in, even though it's suddenly full of <laughs> I, can, I can move. Um, and... Action. So move sentry in a minute as well, I imagine. Uh, I mean, is is there a, is there one that I can attack? I mean, yeah, you like, could attack before you move, so yeah, easily. Um, 13, 14, 15 to hit. 15 is not enough. You swing your little sauce pen. Oh, 16. 16 hits. <laughs> Yay! 16 to hit. Um, <laughs> 1d6 plus 3. 3. I didn't expect to hit, so I didn't look at what dice I need. I know you can't. That's weird. Ugh. Uh, five. For the sake of ease, I'm going to say that's the one that Lucius fireballed earlier and you destroyed. Hooray! I did something! So I can stack it all on the same thing. For the sake of... Uh-oh. So one something. stack of did something for you. Uh, and then you want to move 15 feet towards Lucius, yeah? Towards Lucius, yeah. Okay, as close as you can get without moving through spirits, or do you want to I move disengaged. through spirits? I... Yeah, but do you want to move through them? No, I'm not going through spirits. Okay. They're icky. All right. Sentry, what do you want to do? I'm going to move now. All right. Get covered in... Um, ectoplasm. Ectoplasm. That's the, definitely the words I was going to use. I think I'll move back towards that wall that's behind me. I'm concentrating on... This way? Um, no, back towards where Quill, yeah, that side. Okay. Yeah. That's Let's get some space. Um, can I can I misty step into the empty room that's currently empty? I think I'll go in there. And then kind of try and smash the chest that's in there. Nice. You absolutely can. Nice. I'll just do my huge of Starbreaker. 21. 21 will hit. Nice. All right. Let's rock and roll. Let's just let's do this. Do two, three, four. Okay, let's do a level two. Do one smite. Test the water a little bit. See what we can do. You can just um separate can you tell me the lance damage the 2d12 plus your modifier cool. what's that on its own so seven, 11 for the lance so mm -hmm. go for like five and then if you can do the radius damage different. now yeah you're behind me i'm trying to kind of hide under 31 the on the lance on the, on the line smite yeah uh okay uh yeah i'd say Enough to break the chest. Um, you watch a century with Starbreaker. You slam the lance into this well made dwarven chest, which had already been damaged by various spells and other effects uh, up until now. Um, Lucius is uh, mainly his uh, chromatic orbs. And uh, you watch as the loot just spills all over the place. Um, the spirits that had come out of that room immediately turn their gaze on you. Mm -hmm. <sighs> she has destroyed it! Destroy our children, do not let her take it! Yeah. And they become focused on you. What does the greed do? Uh, oh, well, all that would have been minus five to the attack roll. Okay. Um, which would have put you at 21. 16, which still would have been enough. Okay. So you would have just hit, yeah. Nice. Um, but actually, at the start of your turn, could you make a wisdom saving throw for me, please? Does she get advantage from her aura? No, no, that's. No. Uh, and you do get minus Mavis five. Mavis Bacon, whatever it's called. 20. 
20 total? Yep. Yep, you're fine. You complete the action as you saw, as you see fit. Awesome. Um, yep. Cool. Yep. The treasure is now spill out across this room. Okay. Um... I guess I, I won't touch it. I think I'll just leave the treasure as it is okay. and just, just see what happens. Okay. So I'll stay in there. Uh, so that's the top of the round. Activate, please. Okay. Head towards Sentry and not Howard. Crucially. That's a good start. Not me. The people, yeah, the ones who came from that specific room. Yeah, one was killed by Howard, two were killed by me from that room. Oh, but another one comes back anyway. It manifests around the treasure. Yeah. Oh. Uh, the spilt treasure all over the floor. So uh, but four of them are going to try and attack Sentry. Destroying the chest. With disadvantage. It uh, might make be them. 20 total. Yeah, Unable to pass through your magic armor and defenses, but they do strike. They do try. Lucius. I'm gonna pick up the chest. So I'm gonna find the one. Um, that was a bonus Thief action, right? Uh, you can do it as part of a move action. It's just because Ayla was like, I put I it down, I pick it. it up, I put it down again. <laughs> I, pick it I up was again. trying to No, it's stuff. fine, but I'm just saying normally you can do it as part of another action. Well, destroying it, I think, would make them permanently enraged against that person. So that's, that's the use for it, rather than enraged on Howard. And I'm gonna bring the chest out of the room sure. backwards. Yeah, they all are following you with, with hate. Howard, now is your time. It's Howard time. So that moves. So we'll come Would you like to do an action? <laughs> As an action, I would like to hold it. And when the ghosts are past the bars, I'm going to wall of ice Howard in. Wait, he can. They can no, go through that's... spirits. Yeah. For shit. And then how can I get out? Well, I don't care about that. Would you like to <laughs> no. use you dash with your action as well? All right, I'm going to dash towards nervous. Sentry. Another so... 15 feet. I'm nervous so much. Well, you get 20 feet because you're crumble, crumble speed. <laughs> she, she crumble speed. Back. We're in here forever. Yeah. There you go, Howard. You wanted a fridge. We live here, Max. You're I in one. <laughs> you're in, you're you're in, in the one. <laughs> it's like two reader, two all over again, sir. <laughs> they move past you, Howard. Ignoring you. Oh, thank the stars. I'm never getting crumble again. Enjoy. Thank you, sir. Eat up, Howard. Oh, they come from me. Last meal you're getting. Last meal, last supper. Oh. Those ones oh, are they're enraged. From there. Okay, gotcha. So, uh, yeah, so a group moves past you, uh, Howard, and goes to attack Lucius. Uh, there is five of them, and they all miss, because they're all one. Um, and then three of them chase after behind you, Howard, and I try and strike you. Uh, you. Uh, for only an eight, so they are so unsuccessful. <laughs> uh, and we go to Ayla. <laughs> Hello. Um, I guess I am just going to... I'm going to hit the chest and I'm going to put it down and hit it. Okay. Try and keep them rooted in one place. Sure. Give me, uh, give me an attack roll. 15 plus 15. That's going to hit this chest. Okay. This kills the chest. Yep. Karma. Karma kills it. Already hit it. 18 damage plus 4 lightning. Uh, 18. I'd say the 18 it does normally. Um, and then this is from that top. 18 is going to be enough, yeah. You watch as the chest slams on the ground, all the gold, all the coins, everything spills out onto the floor, and the spirits are just enraged at you. Uh, so uh, A big open mouth, distended mouth screaming at you Ugh. in mummy style. You don't have to do that. Oh. Um, yeah, uh, that was an action. I don't know if there's any point in killing them, because they're just going to come back. Stops them from hitting you. Yeah, but they're just gonna come back immediately. Okay, I'll hit one of them because I have an attack anyway. Uh, uh, no, your action was to break the chest. You don't, you can't, you don't have an action. Do I not have two attacks? I have uh, one it's, attack. it's not really an attack oh, okay. to break the chest. You were like smashing. Okay, you I guess I'll the just do my it and then let go. Then. Okay. Um, okay. twenty-eight 
20 lightning damage. Ah, uh, one of them. One of them evaporates. Oh, I have one stack of watching. You have the burden of greed. Minus one to basically everything. Attack rolls, but you check same throws. Uh, okie dokie. Hurry, Howard! Hurry! I think the last group of minions to go is the ones around Ayla, who are going to attack you. Hello. Uh, only a 14, they miss. They're unable to, well, they, they're, they're hitting you, but their effects are having no, no you know, attacks have, are ineffectual. Uh, Quill. Uh, I'm still full of crumble, but no one's going up to that top uh, left room. So I'm going to, actually I can fly. That will give me an extra bit of movement, I it think. will, significantly more. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've only got 50, so this would just give me an extra 40. 10 feet. Yeah. Um, well, I'll move towards that top what? left. What? 50 minus 10 is 40. Your yeah, 30 you know minus what? 10 that is, is 20. significantly better. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> 50, so you can't fly through the bars. You'd have to move, fly up squeeze to the bars, through. and then you would try and, and then, squeeze through. But you said he could squeeze He can just squeeze through, little. but you get five feet through. Yeah. Unless it's you're from the it's difficult terrain. It's difficult terrain. Okay. Yeah, a little crumble bit. Little crumble bit. So, so I was 20 feet to get to the fence. Yeah. Or like the, the gate. It. So I'm next yeah. to the right. chest. Yep, yeah. next to the chest. Touch it! I mean, Touch okay, hang on. <laughs> Touch the butt. Pivot! Touch the wood. As an action, as part of my secret chest spell, I can bring my larger chest from the replica that I have <laughs> into the real world. I kind of want to pick up this chest and start spilling the contents into that. <laughs> <laughs> um, You're stealing Howard's money? Oh, but it's an action to oh, it, summon it. Oh, bonus action to pick up the chest, right? Uh, yeah. No, you can pick up the chest pick as like a part of another action. Oh, I so. see. So you've so far you've used movement. You've got an action and bonus action left. Yeah, you secret can... chest. Yeah, start enraging them by pick by interacting with I, their chest. You pour the contents of your chest because you don't need to be careful with it because it's a magic chest. You're pouring it. You're like dump, and the spirits just like thief is <laughs> taking out. Wow, what is that? Look, if they're gonna call us thieves, yeah. I'll be a thief. <laughs> but you're stealing from Howard, though, Quill. I'm coming with you. It might go to you. Quill. You can't see me right Quill. now. Yeah, yeah. Quill. <laughs> Add 10,000 gold. <laughs> oh, my Jesus God. Christ. Robbing one, him. One fourth of the 40,000. Robbing a member of staff. We could auction some of these coins because they're like centuries old and they're relics. You can no, fuck off! It doesn't work in d <laughs> Jesus! Coin age has no impact on its value. <laughs> They've had the same king on them the entire time. No, no, but there's just so many different printeds of coins that nobody cares about it anymore. It's pointless. Um, there's no coin collectors yeah. in this universe. Uh, but yeah, these spirits are he is. furious. Arguably. Anything else? He wants them all. No. <laughs> all right. Well, the spirits. I'm, I'm very gonna... satisfied. Yeah, I can't these. believe you'd steal from a member of staff. Fuck them. <laughs> They're coming for you. They're coming Good. for you. Good. That's what we want. Are these ones blind? Yeah. <laughs> they will be if they hit you. Right. Uh, Only two of them here. are in range, Quill. With disadvantage. Uh, it's a seven. They don't hit you. Uh, all right. He's so freaking happy Howard. with himself right now. Yeah. I can see that gold pile under you, Halo. Yeah, you're scooping so... it. So... <laughs> Well, uh, that would be different because that's you're physically scooping. Yeah, I'm like, you I mean, this was you got a chest and went. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna Mr. Plow it into the chest. <laughs> nice. Mr. Plow. Our name. name again is Mr. Plow. Um, I would like to go up to the uh, Diamond. I think you're in range, right? Yeah, yeah 50. Yeah. Uh, what do you do? So the riddle says, um, "Mark of the air." When the mark of the air, an air fills each star, the legacy awaits a final scar. Yes. Can I take out a little paring knife and cut me and yeah. and bleed into the like put vessel. your hand on it or like it doesn't look like is it's it, open. Yeah, it's but like, it looks it's like hollow. it's hollow. It looks it's glass, but it's hollow inside. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just I guess I'll just try and just touch put it. Put like a top. cut on your hand and then touch the top yeah. of it. Yeah, you watch as the blood, although it has nowhere to go, suddenly drips inside it like a little tiny tiny speck of blood and it feel fills this tiny hollow. <laughs> And you watch as it begins to, you feel like a rumbling of stone Ooh. underneath it. I did something! Keep down to Howard Arrows, Ooh. I did something! Now that you can see that it's almost, the way that that little hollow is now filled with crimson blood, there's almost like a magical glow that makes the whole diamond fill red. Cool. Um, and that and one so is now marked as okay. red. Yeah. Do I take any damage from... Take one point of damage. I've no longer got crumble belly. 
right. Oh, speedy boy. Oh. Yeah, that last bit has just kind of kind of brought you out of your little food coma. Um, but yeah, so that was move. I'd say it's an action, by the way, to like press your hand up to it and stuff like that. So yeah, I think. Um, I think that's pretty much. It's gonna be it you done. Me, yeah. yeah. All right, sentry. Um, I do wisdom saving for. You do, please. Yeah, with minus five. Plus twelve, I think. Let me just check. It's Twenty-three, eighteen. Eighteen, you're fine. Nice. You feel like, yeah, this building up of this negative energy, this kind of pressure of greed and avarice, weighing down on you, but you resist. Gold on the ground is looking extra shiny. Mm, yeah, it is. Um, <laughs> let's see. Cool, you must have the greed of avarice too. Yeah, yeah, that's oh. it. Oh, Sorry. what a curse. Can I just? <laughs> I might just stay where I am and just let myself be a sponge for these guys and just yeah. let them hit me. Oh, well, just I stand with like, my shield and <laughs> just let them wail on me. Yeah, yeah, you could totally do that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. All right, uh, I'm, yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. With my, uh, I've got plenty more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's exactly what they're gonna do. They're just, all five of them are gonna surround you. Good thing they have a disadvantage because that was a natural 20 to a two. Miss. Nice. Uh, all five Hell of them yeah. just. Hey, uh, you damaged the chest, didn't you? But you didn't pick it up. No. She destroyed it. You attacked it, but you didn't. You didn't. I didn't pick anything up. Oh, I thought it was just. Oh, oh no! Did you, yeah, she you destroyed, destroyed it. You destroyed yeah. it. You destroyed it. Yes. So they do attack you. Yes, 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 yes. They do attack you. Um, but yeah, uh, Lucius. Lucius is going to cast Armor of Agathis on himself mm -hmm. at level three. Okay. 15, 15 temporary, 15 temporary hit points, yep. Um, ooh, so that's like 27 then. Uh, yeah, if you're, well, if your previous temp HP was lower than 15, it goes up. It goes up to 15. If your previous temp HP was higher than 15, you don't gain any more temporary hit points. They don't stack. They never stack. All right, it's 15 now. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to move up to the center of the room to allow Harry. It will to provoke an opportunity attack. Yeah. With disadvantage. Five. Uh, ten. Fifteen. With the chest. There's five of them there, isn't there? Yeah. So that would go to 19 to hit. Yeah, that will hit. That will hit. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're all going to take 15 points of damage, right? Because of Armor of Agathis. That doesn't kill any of them, uh, but it badly damages them. Um, and then, yeah, you move past them. That will destroy my... And your temp HP. Uh, well, actually, you would take uh, 12 points of damage. Oh, okay. So you still have three right. points. Was it necrotic? It was, yes. So that would be half that? Huh? It would be half that, six. Bloody hell. 15 minus six is nine. It is. Man, I did it. Sentry so quill so action. fucking up undead. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, a cleric and a paladin, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Howard, I'm going to draw them to the middle so you can go across the corridor towards sentry. And she'll probably move out the way to next round so that you can get to the diamond. Oh, you captain. Six seconds. <laughs> Perfectly summarized. Uh, as far as I can go that way, I was like 5, 10, 15. Oh, I think you've already done the movement. I think that's pretty much the movement. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's right. You actioned to cast armor. I was next to the... Yeah. All right. Okay. End of turn? End of turn. All right. Um, those five are going to rush you and attack you again. Do it. Uh, that's a miss. I rolled natural one. Um, and then uh, out of the two here, um, Quill. They're going to move in, surround you. Thief, thief. I mean, I'm actually 13 to hit. stole off them. No. Nope. All miss. Yeah. I'm the only one they are Alien. actually legitimately just gonna have chill. a grievance. Just gonna, you're like literally just, just like chill. stand there. Like, okay, cool. Do you want to move anywhere? Are you happy where you are? Oh, I'm, I'm good. I'm good where I am. Okay. I'll just chill because Howard's got a path. They'll attack you. Cool. Uh, 15, nope. miss. Yeah, they're just wailing on you. So I think we go to Howard. Uh, I, with my full movement, I've got 25 foot of movement, I will dash um, across the hallway towards where Sentry... Um, so 50 feet of movement. Twenty-five. And then dash. Five. Uh, yeah. What are you saying? Uh, go in. Ten. Fifteen. Uh, you can get, yeah. 
So at this point though, I'll move back over to the mic. Um, to get any further, as you start squeezing through the bars, because the spirits are packed in around Sentry, to get to the diamond, you have to pass through the spirits. You'll have to pass through at least two. 27 HP, lads. I mean, Your choice. It's not up to them. Can I start going through one? We'll dip a toe. You can go through one. And then stop if it hurts. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can bad. do that. Yep. Take five points in necrotic, so half that to two. 26, 25. Let's go. Uh, you take two, half up to one. So you take one more necrotic. Cool. That is your action. That gets you up to the plinth with the diamond, but and only a bonus action left. Do it's an action to use the diamond. Uh, Fake diamond. Bonus action. I will help Sentry with, what was it, a saving throw and attack? I uh, know, attack roll or an ability check? Uh, an attack roll. Okay, all right. Sentry, starting your turn. Can you make a saving throw, please? I shall. I should have done that. No, yeah. so there's an ability check, not a saving throw. 33 plus 5. And also Minus 5. Minus 5. Minus five. 28. 28. You're fine. <laughs> 33. You're fine. <laughs> Dice is good to me today. Yeah, that's okay. good. Uh, so, yeah, n normal 10. Nice. I will bonus action Misty Step. <laughs> you teleport out. I'll teleport out away from Howard. Feet. So, nice. towards the room that Howard came out of, basically. Yeah, yep. boy. And then, what, use your movement to run into it? Yeah. Okay. I'll move him, Tom. I'll, I'll move it all because I've got to move this. Oh, I've got a boy with me. Here he comes. <laughs> he goes <laughs> with you. Where's he, mates? Yeah, I mean, if you're Misty Stepping and moving, you can basically run into that empty room yeah. and. <laughs> They will, they wow. will follow you immediately. Nice. So. Let's do it. Uh, Lucius, here's up next. Am I? Already? Bloody hell. Bloody hell, mate. Um, okay. I will cast Fly on myself. Oh. And fly to Sentry. 40 feet. Attack of opportunity. A lot of boys in that room. Just throw me in there. <laughs> there it's, like, is just... it's like a ball pit. Yeah. <laughs> Stack them all up. Uh, 18. Yes. Uh, that will destroy all of them, though, because you've got Armour of Agnes. Oh, that'd right? be 30 points total, yeah. yeah they all die. Uh, pff, they just evaporate as uh, the armour kind of erupts and pierces them all with freezing cold, um, destroying them all. Um, and then they will reform on the What chest. damage would that have been? Uh, I will tell the you, it would have been uh, 12 again, so half to six. Nice. Where are but you going to read? That goes, so... That's a great question. Lucius, Wait, you are carrying the chest, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're carrying I've still spell. got Armour of Agatha's up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a great Three spell. Points. Holy shit. Great spell. Especially yeah. against in this scenario yeah. where you're like, they've got resistance. Mm. Unless they reform inside the oh, Armour of Agatha's. just survive here, Sentry, until Howard gets the next bit. Uh, okay. And in well, fact, uh, yeah, after Lucius, those five are going to respawn in the same room which now fills the entire area. <laughs> Both you and Sentry, they are forming like in you. They take damage, but you guys are also going to take damage oh, here. God. You need to start picking um, up that loot. Me? Uh, Why? Because we're going to put them in that little meat grinder down there. Uh, down to eight for both yeah, we are. of you. Oh, I am. Um, Lucius, uh, you, you also would have taken five stacks of Burden of Greed no because they all died around you. So you're also at five they stacks of Burden of Greed now. Even with our life goes, I felt a concentration check. Four of life is gone. Oh, that's no a bad one. No resistance. No more. I like Necrotic how you just... damage at this point. I mean, at this point, yeah, I'm just going to dump them in there. Um, so, no more Aura of Life, so no more resistance, and HP can be reduced. Shit, I don't think I have that. It's alright, I can pop it again next turn. I've got some red. Uh, Ayla, the, Hi. uh, you or Quill, you or Quill, are all D6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Four, I know, five, I just stole. Quill! Yeah? Uh, they're gonna attack you. Uh, all of them are gonna attack you at once. They have disadvantage. 27. Jesus Christ! Yeah. 12 Ooh, points of necrotic damage. And your HP is reduced by 12 maximum. Uh, so that 12 off my 10, and my max is reduced by 12. Okay. Yes. Uh, I'm fucking happy. No, it's, it, no, it's fine. It's just it's good because you had like the safety net now, and now the pressure's like, oh, okay, actually no, we're not safe now. Yeah. Howard, get a fucking move. Howard, like, move. Does that take your crumble belly away? It doesn't. What? I still have. Five he had a lot of crumble belly. Big old crumble belly. I can't believe. The major threat of this encounter That's is the crumble, crumble belly. Belly. <laughs> And the fact that you were like, yeah, let's all have crumble before we go I mean, in. Yeah. And I was just like, healing. 10 foot of moment. Yeah, I love it. Uh, Ayla. 
Oh, I just chill. <laughs> You're happy to just sit there. Okay. I'll just take the hit nice. for now. All right, they're going to attack you. I mean, I have been rolling would. badly against you. Yeah. There's a 20 to hit. That'll hit me. Right. So this time, that's going to be 12 points of necrotic damage. That's fine. And then 12 off your max HP. Crumble belly. I don't have crumble belly anymore. Nice. Um, I'll just make a note of that. Yeah, I wish I didn't. I'm getting real gassy. Quill. Oh, how many stacks of greed does one have? Three. All right, you're fine. Okay. Well, you still have the minus penalty. It's okay, I still have seven, 271 hit points. Um, <laughs> fuck's sake. I'm going to use my action to bring my secret chest back into trinket oh, form. Oh, I thought you were going to do something else, like do something else. Like no, I have to. Stuff. It's an action to bring it out and an action to put it back. So it takes quite a while to actually mm -hmm. do. Um, and I want to, yeah, I'm going to try and get away from these guys. So uh, they'll have an attack of opportunity on me. And I guess. Do I want to start scooping up some of these? 18 to hit. Son of a bitch. I'll <laughs> shield it. Okay. Yeah, I'll shield that. Okay. Um, I mean, I'll head towards Ayla. Okay. Can you know? All right. They're after me anyway, these, these ones. Yeah. You might need to move, I, just I, I don't know, somewhere different. <laughs> Howard's got to yeah, get I'm about past to... everything. Yeah. You move, can see little. Move There's wherever little it's convenient for him to go. Because they're going to surround you. Well, uh, first things first is uh, those guys already went because they attacked you. The yeah. ones around Ada have attacked. So it's basically Sentry and Lucius, the group around you, are basically just going to swarm and attack you both now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so Lucius, uh, that is a 24 to hit. Yeah, that just scrapes by, Mark. 12 points of necrotic damage, 12 <laughs> HP. How much, sorry? 12. Uh, reduced, and then your so, maximum HP goes down by 12 as well. Can I do my uh, sentinel reaction? You can. Cool. All right. So you just make an attack against one of the ones that attacked Lucius? Yes. How much yeah. damage? Sorry. 12. 20 to hit. Right. Oh. Nice. Let's oh, do one, two, I'll attack. do standard attacks. 3d8 they're on dead. Mm -hmm. 12. 13, 16, 21. 22. 32. Destroys one and nearly destroys another one. Nice. Bing bong. That'll, that'll be a stack. Six stacks. Uh, yes, that will be. Um, and then they make uh, an attack against you, Sentry. Roll. Uh, that's a 26. Yeah, that hits. 12 points of necrotic, 12 points of uh, off your maximum HP. So, or five of them. And it does seem that when there's more of them, they are more effective if they're if there's more of them together. Combo belly is um, gone. gone. Huge. Powered. It's the turning point. So, um, because I moved through the two, am I right next to the yeah, diamond? Yeah, you are. Okay, yeah. I'll uh, do my thing. Action. Same thing. You cut it, one point of damage. The diamond, the blood fills the diamond. That now becomes fully red as an action. Run! As an action. Run. So, uh, 25 foot of movement. And he's, only little, he's only got little half of the legs. Yeah. Which one are you, are you still just heading towards the your adjacent room? The one that's nearest, so I guess the one that Ayla is uh, outside of. That's not bad. I know. Uh, I don't have anything that would help you. Sent we. Alright, I'm going to pop off Aura of Life again. That's my action. Um... I'm going to try and just move into the back of the room. So out, out How many the people does it hit, Tom? Is it 30 feet of range? 30 feet range, yeah. I don't think me and Ayla will get hit. Okay. Right. You can move before you cast it. Um, well, it moves with me. So. Oh. Oh, is it on you? Yeah. Oh, it's an aura. Yeah, it's aura. It's aura. Oh, there might have been some that... So I guess, yeah, I'll guess I'll just move into the centre of the room, sort of just behind power. Okay, so again, it's an opportunity against you? Yeah, it's definitely. Uh, 15, they miss. Cool. And where is Sentry in this mess? <laughs> Good point. Well, there you are. Yeah. It's like they're just between the two rooms, basically, at the back. Forward. Yeah, there's good. Yeah. Just... I mean, you could have been moving diagonally as well if you want to get more central. So you can move her up a little bit. You want to do that? Well, not too close to hand. Oh, I see. Yeah, you're on the point. Yeah. Gotcha. So just back there. Sure. Okay. Cool, well, that's my turn. That's your turn? Yeah. Uh, okay. At this point, uh, the 
spirits around uh, we'll chase after Quill. this group. Do it. Get rid of my crumble. I'm yet to reach my full power. I've come back twice. Stram. Yep. Oh, uh, 16. That's without my bonus. My bonus is 12. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, and a quill. <coughs> Disadvantage. 15. Uh, just, uh, by currently shielding. Miss. There you go. Lucius. Still got crumble belly. Uh, oh, uh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> crumble belly. We're the greatest enemy of this encounter. Oh, crumble belly. So I'm crumble tired. Belly. Armor of it's just like they hit you and you're like, I'm going to throw up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I cast Armor of Agathis again. Nice, what level? Uh, three again, so okay. 15, 15 more. Yep. <laughs> Remember that replaces, it doesn't add on to what any temporary points you've got left. Yeah, it was all gone Absolutely. anyway. All right. Anything else? No, or are you just going to hang out in this room? I am hanging, hovering. Actually, if I were to hover, do they float upwards vertically? They can. Sweet. That's <laughs> How tall are the ceilings, actually? Not very tall at all. Oh. It's like a 10 foot ceiling. It's actually, no, because it would be 20 feet because of the alcove, so it's about 20 feet tall, the ceilings in here. I guess technically, when I flew over here and got it opportunity be... attack, I could have lost concentration on it, couldn't I? Yeah, don't worry. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> right. That's um, cool, that's you. I think what's going to happen next, because it's the two big groups, uh, they will basically chase after sentry and then attack Lucius. So, and they'll attack sentry too. Uh, it's going to be a miss against Sentry, and does a 15 hit Lucius. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so that would be 12, but it's now halved because of Sentry's aura, so it's six points in Necrotic, and you don't lose any max hit points, but six points in Necrotic. And 15 points of cold back on them. And, yep, they all take 15 points of cold. Um, at this point, that end of the th room, as long as you don't move closer to Howard, they're just going to keep attacking you, cool. and until you start destroying them, I'm just not going to worry about them too nice. much. Uh, Ayla. I'm just chill. <laughs> um, I think for the sake of brevity, what I yeah. could say here is... Figure out how long it takes for Howard to... Get, yeah. I mean, Howard can literally, like, uh, it will take him two... I'd say it's going to take him about, like, four or five rounds to do this. Yeah. Um, at which point, if you guys are just like, we're just going to tank the damage as best as possible, like, Gosh. you can, like, reduce their numbers little bits here and there. I mean, yeah, we could check, the like, concentration I for... Do, I wasn't even going to do I was no. going to try and um, pick Howard up and transport him quicker to... Sure, yeah, you can, you can totally do that. Because I've got 45 feet moving. Doesn't that bring people with us, though? <laughs> Yeah, but they'd be attacking Yeah, but Ayla. I could always yeah, take you, you. Yeah. Yeah. and then back off. Shield me. Like, I've got 45 feet moving. So here's what I'm Shield gonna do. me, big lady. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say everybody but Howard take six points of necrotic damage. I'll take two for the blood Yeah, letting. thank you. Yeah, for that. Um, Sentry, can you make two concentration checks for Aura of Life? Yeah. In fact, just one. All right, 19. You're fine. Uh, I would say, for the sake of brevity, because we've reached the point now where you know what you're doing, yeah, it's just and you've got yeah. everybody attacking you guys, it's just going to be a slog if we play I'm out just the whole sure. thing. Right, but for uh, those two it's turns... Just, it's literally it's just Quill literally, literally you short. summon your chest and you're scooping up more gold. Uh, yeah, uh, that would be another, another 10,000. So, 20,000. then have the ghosts from that chest on yes. him? Yes, yeah, so as soon as... So none of them are on me? Yeah. So I can very just easily yep. just transport Howard or off Scoop and That's That was what I was thinking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking. Um, but yes, uh, the the only thing is, what we're going to do is I'm going to take you up to the point <clears> where all four ge Howard has touched all four gems. Sure. Once he touches all four gems, you see the doors open, they lead into another chamber, Spirits ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Right? Um, but they kind of like, oh, I'll come back to this in a minute. I just want to move everyone around. So Ayla is going to be in here with Howard, or like maybe at the front. Yeah. Yep. Quill is surrounded by ghosts. Ten. Yeah. You've made your choices. Shovel coins. We get for stealing. Oh, and you guys think I'm done? <laughs> I see two stacks of coins down there. That's another 20. <sighs> no, some of it got damaged, remember? Yeah, yeah, it did, yeah. <laughs> You're going to rub a poor man blind. So, the doors now. <gasps> <laughs> 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 
That will sound fucking weird. <laughs> the doors that was the left open. Door, that's the right door. <laughs> um, and you see uh, now, Howard. You don't remember any more riddles or like puzzles or rhymes or anything about this. Um, the last thing that your your you know the story that your family used to tell said uh, was, uh, and this is Howard saying it. Uh, in fact, actually, no. Uh, uh, maybe screaming when you get it. into a point where you can have it. So, yeah, you could be screaming it, actually. But do not dream of bloodstained gold or haunted hills. Uh, the folly of our ancestors was their own mistake, for as their families fought, the young lovers, the children, and those who loved them left behind their fortune, along with jealousy and greed, and realized that they all had riches that they needed in the arms of each other. The love of their children, the loyalty of those who trusted them, they moved far away from the Horned Silver Lands. <coughs> and began a new civil life, enjoying the comforts of the worlds and the hard work of their own hands. The smiles of those they love is worth more than any gift of the earth or star in the sky. That's what this story ends with. And then he comes running back. The treasure was the friends they made along the way. It's basically the summary of the last part I told you right at the beginning of, of this, didn't yeah. I? I don't need riches, but I'm rich in memory. The doors, the doors lead though. into a final chamber, a simple circular room. Uh, the walls are divided into upper and lower sections by a black divider of stone and various stone doors are set into each of the curved wall halves, 12 in total. At the center is a large statue of Siaska herself, carved from a fusion of white marble and black onyx and mixed with crystalline material to make it seem as if she's the maid of the night sky itself. In her hands, raised above her head about 10 feet in the air, is a massive, beautifully cut diamond that casts a gentle light around the chamber. Howard, you go alone, through past the braziers. <laughs> we'll hold off the spirits. The braziers! Braziers! Lanterns. <laughs> All right, Master Lucian. No! Uh, so we'll basically, we'll, yeah, I mean, if you want to, we will start it with Howard's turn as it, well, Howard's turn would have ended as you touch the diamond, those open up. So technically it would go to Sentry's turn. Um, do I destroy these boys? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna... At the start of your turn century, if you could please oh, yeah, make wisdom saving throw. Of course. Who cares to me, Liz? Natural 20. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> oh my god. All right, I finally did it, guys. Um... He's rolling high. This is what it feels like, by the way. It feels really good. Yeah. Want to play oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna... Stay with these boys and just let them wail on me. Okay, nice. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, da, 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 da. Ah, 23. Yeah, that hits. Uh, that would be six points of necrotic damage because you All have right. holy aura up okay. and a concentration, please. 14. Uh, you are fine. Woo! Lucius. Um. After screaming at Howard, go alone! <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna hit around me sure. with do I prismatic spray that's a bit much it's <laughs> <laughs> a bit much statue Turn of, of cold. Siaska comes to what life what you should do is you should come out of this room and prismatic uh, spray around Quill because he's got the most enemies around him hit me he's a greedy little bitch so I'm going to <laughs> move Oh dear. I am a greedy little bit. Ward Sentry, a little bit. Sure. You forget how it is. Dear gold stealing bitch. These monsters, these spirits. I'm going to cone of cold in okay. at them all. Sure. I mean, they failed the saving throw, and I'm pretty sure this is going to do more than enough damage to wipe them out. Yeah. 23 yep. points of cold. <clears throat> frozen solid and then shatter as if you had frozen mist. Popsicle. But you begin to see them already beginning to coalesce around the treasure chest you are currently carrying. Can I mm. have? Mm, actually, no, don't worry. Okay. I can't two spell it. Okay. Even with Quicken, right? Uh, I'd only be able to cantrip. Spell. You'd only be able to cantrip, yes, that's correct. Uh, uh, so your spirits are going to just slowly start reforming. Um, Quill. <laughs> Quill is, uh, Quill. is uh, 21 to hit you. Mm hmm. Uh, that'd be six point, well, 12, six necrotic damage. Okay. And the holy aura isn't concentration, is it? Do I need to do oh, a busy throw? Yeah, technically. Did you take, no, did you oh, take damage? Sorry, yeah. holy aura is they, uh, concentration. Because they reformed, you destroyed them and then they reformed. Okay. But 
I got five. <laughs> now he remembers. Oh, this whole time you now should be making concentration checks. You son of a bitch. It's all right. It's, he rolled a two. So, so it's gone. Well, it's gone now. Oh, great. It wasn't gone before. No, I was rolling it every other time. <laughs> um, yeah, Holy War is gone. Oh, dear. Okay. So no more disadvantage. So they're no longer blind? No longer blind. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, uh, no, 29 to hit on the next one. The next group. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, so that's 12, half to six, necrotic damage. Okay. And they're just wailing on you. And then we go to Ayla. Oh, hi. Who is currently um, outside. I got all your gold. Ghosts free. <laughs> Ghost free, well, You're, you're holding me, aren't you? Because you're with uh, me. Well, you, are currently, you had to you're squeeze inside. through the bars. Yeah. Ayla's outside. The uh, I can't get through those bars easy, so... Grab him. Go long. Well, grab Howard. <laughs> <laughs> just throw him in. You can hold your action until I move to you, and then eat me. Get yarded. You could yeet. I'll do that. You could sure. yote. Want to be yote? I will I'm, wait until Howard is there and I will yote. Pull me yeet through him the doors. through the doors. Yeah. Sure. Because I don't know if I can go through there without fucking things up. Because I'm not. Actually, we've been in this whole time and it hasn't. That's fine. I'll wait. I'll go towards the doors. Sure. Yeah. Just move slightly towards the door. Yeah. Basically, stay in range that Howard can run to you, and then you can yeet, and you can yeet. Basically, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Um, uh, Sentry does twenty hit. No. Right. You're fine. Um, and in which case we go to Howard. I run over to Miss Ayla. Huh, you get yeet. Huh. Oh no! <laughs> uh, can you just make an athletics check for me, Ayla? Hits the door. Slides down. Uh, twenty-three. 23, um, you pick Howard up, you lob him uh, the distance from to basically cause him to land inside the new chamber, like, huh, whoof, and how would you get thrown into this circular <laughs> chamber nice. um, that you'd seen before? Nice. Yeah. That would be Eek. action, uh, and then, yeah, you moved. Am you I... still have your action, because you, that was just your movement to get to Ayla. Am I anywhere near, like, how far from the statue? Uh, you, it's still a moot, like, you would have to climb up. The statue's maybe about, like, 15 feet uh, from the door, mm -hmm. and then the gem is, like, 10 feet up in the air, because the oh, statue's yeah. large, it's holding the gem I up. I might actually need to come in and hold you up. I could get, like, a little footstool out of my backpack. Good. Well, it'd be a little ladder, a little step ladder. I don't travel without it. Yeah. Wait, it's like a tiny bag, but you pull out a full ladder. Well, it's like a folding step ladder. Yeah. Always be prepared. He's I, half. Yeah. I've got two of them in my house. Yeah. Just yeah. so you know. Same, same. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to buy me one. Yeah. For like... If you would like to use your action to use Howard's backpack and have a folding ladder. Ooh, I'm going to need this. <laughs> Pull really? out the backpack and it's like, like fold it out. <laughs> you put it up against the statue. Um, yeah, and then you can. Yeah. So can I touch it now, or? Um, I'd say as a bonus action, if you, what do you want to do? Touch the diamond, or are you gonna cut do, your hand again? Do I know the name of? What, you shout the riddle really fast, like. Um, I'm well, not gonna ask that's you the to thing is, it, it wasn't really a riddle. It was, it was just, just uh, a story. It was just the end of the story, which yeah. was basically saying, yeah, like. The, the ancestors, the, the the young lovers, the halfling and the dwarf who initially kind of brought the families together, were so sick and tired of the greed and the infighting that they left and they started a new life with a few people that were still loyal to them. And that life was all about like not worrying about your fortunes and appreciating what you make with your hands and appreciating the people that love you and that care about you and stuff. Meanwhile, just outside the gate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The, the good cleric of Hesper is just like, not even a bad I love money. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I'm a quartermaster. He doesn't even have any of the specs. He's no. just, that's Three. just him. Do yeah. I remember you have... what the name of the lovers are? Uh, yes. They are called. <laughs> One. They, are called, they are called uh, the young halfling man was Wilbur, and the dwarven woman was Wilbur. called. <laughs> no, her name was. What Hilda. Hilda. Wilbur and Hilda. Yeah. What's their surname? Hornsilver. Hornsilver. Yeah. Okay. Well, they were the originators of the Hornsilver. Okay, I'm gonna climb up the ladder and reach up, but just before I touch it, I'm gonna say. Uh, Oh, my ancestors, Wilbur and Hilda Hornsilver, I don't know if you can hear me, but if you can, I don't come here with greed. I just need to, to borrow this to bring a dear friend back. And you'd maybe find it appropriate. She loves the stars, and Siaska, the star could bring her back. Please, forgive me. As you finish kind of saying the words, you watch as the sort of hands of Siaska that are holding the diamond up, kind of clenched around it, like, protectively. You 
watch the stern and part. I need to take it. I'll slowly reach out. You take the, the gem. All the spirits almost suddenly turn as if realizing what's happened in the middle of sort of like, you know, their, their hatred towards you as they look and you just hear like, the star, the star. And they all just vanish. Oh. And yeah, how would you now have no. a 25,000 GP <laughs> magical diamond? I would like to cast Dimension Door. <laughs> <laughs> I cast Teleport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You thought I was playing right. Howard this right, entire Joe. time? Uh, no, no um, I'll just, I'll take it rever- reverentially mm-hmm. and just whisp- whisper, thank you. Climb back down the ladder. <laughs> Mold that back up. Yeah. Put it in the back of the <laughs> um, Yeah, and the rest of you, the encounter ends. And, uh, uh, is everyone okay? As can be, yes, let's get out of here. Uh, well, uh, Howard? I've got the star qu- uh, quartermaster quill. Okay, okay, uh, let's, uh, we, do we want to go back to the storm chaser with thing, or should we use it now? Storm chaser. Okay. Mm-hmm. We could use it now. It's up to you. Uh, Howard, all of the you, stacks of green, by the way. Do you want the rest of your fortune? You could buy is, several fridges. There is several, looking in the chambers, There's there is missing. approximately, Based on the damages so many that you fringes, did, there's approximately sixteen thousand six hundred gold left in the chambers. There is the adamantine scale armor, oh the, the pair of magical braces that Lucius spotted. Oh. But also now, without the panic of the fight and having time to look around, there is a magnificent-looking longsword um, with blue sapphires kind of set into the hilt and the pommel. Um, it looks like a very perfectly well-made kind of like uh, dwarven weapon and mm-hmm. halfling kind of you know with halfling detailing and, and engravings, as well as a staff that seems to emanate an icy aura. Cool. But those are in the, the various rooms. They would need to be gathered up. Uh, Miss Sailor, I don't need for much. Uh, but I suppose... I suppose this wealth could be used for the good of Erois, and I trust you all with that task. I mean, yeah, anything that we get really just goes straight back into... Yeah, I mean, Powering, I, like, you know, the Astoria and... Just like all that gold, right, Quill? I, I have all of this gold, but it was to draw them away from you. As you can see... Insight check! <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, from what you've just encountered here... <laughs> two! It's, you rolled a two! Everybody is like, you lying sack of shit. Turn, turning slightly away from Quill, well, who, yeah. whose respect has gone down a little bit in my eyes. Ooh, Still owes me a fridge as well. Um, oh, there might more ghosts might appear. <laughs> as you can see, as you can see, people who come here die. You are the champions of Erois. That's why you survived. So perhaps... It's better off with the danger gone. This is what this gold does. It just causes greed and death. We survived because of you. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have been able to get through. (laughs) Well, I've already dishonored my ancestors, apparently, so might as well empty the whole lot. I don't think so. I don't think you have. This is yours. I I don't feel right taking it from you. It's ours. It's the Storm Chasers. What's more important than well, it's the, the <laughs> riddle, is it not? That love and people are more important. Nova's more important to us than that's, the Star of Siaska. That's then, the story of the lovers. There you go. I'll read it more slowly now that Howard like, can take the time, and I'll do it just normally. But do not dream of blood-stained gold or haunted halls. The folly of our ancestors was their own mistake. For as their families fought, the young lovers, their children, and those who loved them, left behind their fortune along with the jealousy and greed, and realized they had all the riches they ever needed in the arms of each other, the love of their children, and the loyalty of those who trusted them. They moved away from Horn Silver Lands and began a new, simple life, enjoying the comforts of the world and the hard work of their own hands. The smiles of those you love is worth more than any gift of the earth or star in the sky. I guess after all, really, my surname now is Swift Whistle. So, have the last of the Horn Silver wealth. I'm not going to remember that. (laughs) 
<laughs> I didn't know your first surname. <sighs> it was my husband's name. He died. I forgot you had one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you say that Thanks. internally, not externally. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's go back to the storm chaser, where our friends and crew is. <laughs> okay. Okay, I mean... And take everything with us. <laughs> we, will, oh. we will gather... Oh, you do want to take the things? Yeah. Oh, wow. A rare oddity that the High yeah. Rollers actually loot yeah. and with the, take with things that with... I put in the game! With the owner, like, literally saying for the last five minutes, Fuck the whole take dungeon it. around a treasure vault! <laughs> <laughs> take the items! Yeah. You have Thanks. my explicit permission to Thanks. take it! Well, Howard, if that's what you want... <laughs> <laughs> I notice as I'm saying this, Master Quill has already emptied the place. So, Quill, is the, the total of gold is 36,600. Write it down. So an extra 16,600 on yes. top of what I've done. Yep, exactly. Um, and then I'll just tell you what the magic items are because Quill can identify them easily. Uh, the adamantine scale armor is technically not magical, but it is a magic item in D&D, but it's Ooh. just made of adamantine. Right. Um, uh, you can look at what that does. I'm pretty sure basically it means that you cannot be hit with a critical hit. You can't be oh, hit, wow. hit by a crit. Uh, the braces are a pair of braces yes, of I archery. Ooh, uh, good. The longsword is a plus two longsword. I'll probably give it a little bit more information and a fancy name, but I didn't have time today. But it is a plus two longsword. Mm -hmm. And then the staff is a staff of frost. Okay. And those are the items. Sure. I think Sentry should have that. Okay. You can decide. Because that's refrost. Re -re that's it. Staff. <laughs> You guys can discuss it. We can discuss nice. that later. Yeah. Um, I would like to just continue a little bit longer. I know we're about to hit time. Jeez, if that's okay. Yeah. 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 I mean, so. Text yeah, if that's all right. The. Uh, Not that much longer, like I'll 10 minutes. I'll ask so. the tech guy if they can. St yeah. 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 They're saying they can stay. <laughs> Um, but uh, yeah, 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 well, True it. Resurrection yeah. takes an hour to cast, so I guess in this case we would go back to the Storm Chaser. You guys make your way back to the Storm Chaser without issue. Um, you return. Probably at night, having come in here sort of after the journey, when you emerge, the cradle still visible, still bright over Aroes, the stars twinkling just beyond it, knowing the great astral sea, the great astral space, uh, plane of astral space is above you. Uh, you return to the Storm Chaser. The lanterns along its bow have all been lit, and the crew eagerly awaiting your return. When you do come back, Araya, knowing what you've accomplished, uh, will turn to Lu you, Lucius. Do you want me to, do you want some quiet space for what you need to do? Or would you like everyone present? I can take the crew, we can take the wolf pack and, and everyone downstairs for a moment, let you have the, the deck in peace, uh, or we can have everyone present. I would like this to be a private affair of course. Only because I'm worried of the results. Of course, yes, understood. Captain, that's why I ask. So, yes, I will take the wolf pack and everyone else downstairs. Would you like Howard to stay with you? I know that yes. this is okay. Without him, we wouldn't have this potential. Very well. Very I well. will also just go get some things. And I'm going to go gather up all of Nova's belongings, uh, books, things like that that she'd enjoy seeing. Mm -hmm. Um, so and just kind of line things. them out so that these can kind of be the first things she would see if she comes sure. back. Yeah. I do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Araya will basically kind of take the ship, maybe fly up to a high peak, um, but then take all the crew downstairs. And you just have this view of the Savonan Mountains kind of all around you as nightfall is, you know, now well in effect and the glimmering lights of the Storm Chaser kind of just give it this serene peace. Uh, and this kind of slightly chilly, but not cold night air. Uh, and you can hear the sounds of the crew as they're taken downstairs. You can still hear mutterings and murmurings, but it's the sound of life. It's the sound of people sort of enjoying a meal and sort of, you know, there's whispered, hushed conversations, but it eventually dies down, leaving you just in that somber, quiet peace uh, on the deck of the ship under the cradle. Uh, yeah, Lucius placing out all the books. I guess the Star of Siaska is like in the middle of all of this as well. That's how you tell me how you want to <clears throat> lay all this stuff out. Um, okay, so if I recall the book, um, this should be all we need. 
to bring her back, but I, it would be beneficial for all of us to have some memories of Nova in our hearts and our minds to, to help fuel this spell as, as much as possible. Um, but a, a reminder that I've been where she is now and the temptation to stay was strong. Um, and probably stronger for Nova now that she's saved Vortensar and entered that place a hero. Um, there's a chance that she might refuse um, and a chance that we won't see her again. Um, just so we're all prepared for that. Um, but... I can I can start the spell now if everyone is ready. Please, Quill. Okay. So as part of this Quill, the hour-long ritual, for you, this takes the form of channeling that energy, still to you, Hesper's energy, but you know it's now always going to be bound to the energy of Siaska and the astral plane and the stars, the cradle itself, and feeling a sense of poetic timing you almost begin to feel as if you are calling down the stars themselves and strands of that aurora borealis, that strange aurora color, that shimmering multi, multi-prismatic multi light, almost pulling it down. And the rest of you begin to see around the diamond as if the diamond itself were a heart, which begins to pulse. The aura and light begins to form the shape a humanoid shape, not anything specific, nothing you could identify, but you can tell a person begins to form. It's part of the ritual though. It is partially fueled not just by magic, but by those connected to the dead. I'd like each of you to contribute to the resurrection. Something, whether it's a message to Nova, Nova's soul, a memory of Nova that you partic- you hold in strong regard, something that would remind you very much of her personality, something that would really, to you, identifies who Nova Vija is. Or something else that you wish to contribute. I mean, it's your choice. And then afterwards, I would just like you to roll a d20. No bonuses. Okay. Uh, That's from each of you except Kim, obviously. I'm good. Yeah, I've got one. Uh, let's go with Tom leading the ritual. Then. So Rhiannon, and then we'll go with. I'd probably, <laughs> as I'm doing this ritual and moving around and bringing down magical energy and stuff, I would sort of say this out loud. Um, I remember Nova ambushing me <laughs> in the Storm Chaser every time, measuring my body, making me stand in strange positions, and then running off to her experiments um, and then presenting me with the ability to fly again. And all through my first flight, I remember looking down at the Storm Chaser and seeing the glee and happiness in her eyes, um, giving the gift of flight back to me. Um, Nova is strange with her experiments. (laughs) but went through all of that effort just to give me the one thing I didn't even know that I wanted again. Um, and that is Nova Vija to me. So, if you can roll the d20 for me, please. Okay. No bonuses. Five. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. All right, Sentry. I think Sentry would be... I think she'd be like holding hands with whoever's next to her. Mm. And then she'd look up at the stars and maybe see a shooting star. And then that would bring her back to when we were on the Vivex and we were fighting the stone giants and Nova coming in as a little bullet, (laughs) teleporting in and just facing that head on. And that's who Nova is. She confronts her problems head on, no hesitation. She is a hundred and a million percent every single time and that's why we love her she just gives her everything for anyone regardless of the cause 
no matter where they're from, where they've lived, she's a little blue bullet. <laughs> Thank you, Sentry. If you can roll a d20 for me, please. 11. Okay. Lucius or Ayla? Um, Lucius recalls Nova's sacrifice, not in the end, but the amount she's willing to sacrifice throughout this entire journey. And the first time he really opened up to it, was or was aware of it, was when we were on that um, space station mm -hmm. with the uh, time limit to get out and how far Nova was willing to go to save us. Despite everything, losing her arm in the process and yeah. Thank you, Lucius. Can you roll the d20 for me, please? Well, that's a four. Okay. Ayla? Ayla's not going to talk about a specific memory. Mm -hmm. More just how Nova is probably the first person ever in Ayla's life. She went from thinking, oh, who is this annoying little girl? to thinking, I can't survive without this annoying little girl. And it's the first person in Ale's life that she's ever not just tolerated, but actively wanted to be around for, for, for keeps. And there's not one memory of Nova. It's just that Ayla, Ayla needs to, she needs to protect Nova and she needs to be around her. And yes. And if you can roll a d20 for me, please. 16. 16. Quill, the rest of you, the, the figure in the middle becomes so bright, it's hard to look at. Quill, you almost shut your eyes to it now, no longer needing to see, just feeling the magic flowing through you, this intense level of magic that you've never wielded at this stage. This spell that you know is not just forming a new body, a new life, but bringing back memory, bringing back as much essence as you can, drawn from the memories of your companions, the thoughts and their feelings. But you also feel your own mind, your own spirit ascending back up that pathway that you once traveled with Kalara and Siaska long ago. You know you're not, it's not your soul, but your mind reaching up, stretching, pulling away and away up into astral space and then like crossing a border that you couldn't see but you knew was there stepping beyond into a world of light just light endless light what would quill perhaps see if he were to glimpse Nova at her most peaceful. I think at first you almost wouldn't see her, but then you blink and you'd start seeing a constellation that's her outline. Her fluffy hair and the rest of her and she's just floating in the stars and she's translucent. You've almost maybe seen this before when she manifested Tiangong, that kind of translucent outline just filled with stars and nebula. And you know that you can speak to them. Um, Nova, um, please tell me you're here. Please tell me this is you. Have I, have, have I, hello? Quill, it's me. We, we really want you back, Nova. And and if you if you if you follow me now, you will be back on the storm chaser, back in Aroes, back with us, um, ready to fight some more um, through all the pain and the strife and the anger and the anguish, but fighting for a future that I don't think we can achieve without you. Um, but I know 
you've done your part. You, you are a hero um, and you will be remembered. If you decide to stay here, you're welcome to. We won't blame you. What happened in Vortensar? Did they survive? Vortensar is safe. Vortensar's still there. Um, but it's 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 safe. You you achieved what you wanted to. Um, you you won. I didn't though. I caused it. But we avoided it. It didn't happen in the end. The vision didn't come to pass. They are safe because of what we did in the end, because of what you did in the end. And the others. It wasn't just me. Harmony, Shansara, Tiangong, they all stepped in with me. I'm not a hero, Quill. I'm just a Ganassi. I'm tired. And it's so quiet up here. You do feel Quill. The strength of your friend's contribution to this ritual. The power's quickly waning. You don't have much time left. There is so much more that needs to be done and so many more people we can help together, all of us. Um, I suppose we may have saved Wharton Sar, but with Hadar on the horizon, what's one city against oblivion? <sighs> we wouldn't be able to do this without you, Nova. I. I. I... <laughs> feel Quill's voice beginning to grow distant and weaker. You feel almost as if no one's being pulled away. Whatever you decide, it's the right decision for you. But please, please consider coming back for Erois, for the Storm Chasers, for Horizon, for everything. Uh, they, they, they all need you now. Show me your wing quill. I mean, the mechanical one, I'll bring that one out. See a little smile. You really haven't been maintaining it, have you? I've been doing my best. This is why we need you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll like hold out a hand. <laughs> As he holds out the hand, you begin to feel Quill almost being pulled away from you. And Quill, you're straining with the strength of your mind, with the strength of your conviction, your faith, but you know that just there wasn't, maybe it wasn't enough. Maybe this is because it's your first time doing it, but that power is quickly fading, fading away from you. Yeah. This is a now or never. I'm feeling like this is the last sort of moment, like. I'm, I'm so sorry that it went this way, Nova. And if this is goodbye, you were one of the best things that's ever happened to me. And I'm sure everyone else would say the same. The memories, the feelings they, they all had for you. You've changed so many lives and I just want to say thank you and goodbye. She reaches out. She kind of grips the wing. You begin to feel yourself pulled forward, Nova. And from that world of light for you, Quill, to Nova, starry sky, you see Aroes. You see the beautiful blue, kind of shimmering aura of the cradle. You begin to see the mountains, the clouds, the seas. You see astral space all around you. There is a moment when the two of you do feel an ominous sense. When you look in one direction, far, far off, you feel something out there, a cold, hungering something. 
cliff quickly fades as you begin making your way down and you feel over the world rushing around you. There is something odd, something strange. And then <laughs> quill your back and your body and the rest of you see maybe bathed in just like a uh, draped in the cloak, uh, maybe like a cloak from Lucius or something like that has been draped over, but Nova, fresh body. Your eyes open, you breathe cold, but freshing, refreshing air. You feel the familiar wood and the storm chaser beneath your fingertips. Give her a big hug, just... It oh. worked, it worked. God, yeah, Lucius would just flop to his knees and just relief and also, yeah. I imagine I've still got my hand, like... I haven't let go. Yeah. 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 You almost made me think you were going to stay there. <laughs> I almost did. <sighs> but you didn't. You didn't. Ayla's going to take her other hand and go, Don't you ever do that again! <laughs> If you die, I swear I'll kill you. <laughs> I'll kill you. Understandable. There is one thing, though. There's a great relief seeing your friends and being back here. Something missing. You don't hear their voice. You don't feel their presence. It's strange because it's always been there. I go to summon. You hold out your hand, almost expecting the blade. Nothing comes. When you try and manifest your echo, something appears. But it's a, it's a shadowy figment. It is a true echo now. There is no Tiangong. It's just the space where Tiangong would have been still there but just a memory just your memories made manifest and your hand almost waiting for the blade waiting for that familiar voice in your mind that touch but nothing comes it's for a moment though for a moment when you tried to summon the blade when you manifested the echo you thought you heard another voice but it goes ephemeral quickly I can't hear them. I can't hear their heartbeat. It's a hum that's gone. Tiangong's gone. I'm sorry, Nova. And that's where we're going to end the episode. <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh, but we did it. Oh, there is that. <laughs> that for now but yeah that is where we're going to end today's episode thanks for joining us on this little side adventure we'll be back next week when uh, well maybe one last little bit of lightness before the real end of a begins 